Hello. Yo, he speaks. Hello. Hello. That was like literally the first time I ever was. Yo, he speaks. As I unmuted, that was really, really weird and <laughs> scary a little bit. It was, was puffy. Puffy. All right, She wasn't see. talking about you. But... Oh, see, is the scene good? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Look at that, guys. I bought new dice. E nice. Show. Show. Nice. Fucking... Uh, Yo, put it on the Reddit already? I don't want to have to fucking refocus my camera, but I will post it on the Reddit. Hang on. Yeah, just post it on the Reddit. It's yeah, dude. Oh, there we go. Eight. From here, they kind of look like the kiwi dice from Ice Cream Dice, just because they have a uh, close up. They're like a smoky gray with uh, uh, like golden red flake in them. I was this close to buying because for the we obviously for the Dune uh, game I'm playing in we have a PDF of the handbook like the player's handbook but you yeah. can buy physical copies from the website and it comes and you can buy like bundles and one of them comes with a bunch of like Dune themed dice but it's only a uh, six d20s because you only use d20s for that game you don't use any Ooh. other dice really. yeah. so I'm like I don't want six of the same d20. Yeah, I, I love the concept of having a Dune tabletop, but. 60-20s? It's because it's a 2d20 system, so that would be enough for three players. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, hey everybody. Ooh, don't like it. It's Sunday. Welcome to Is it? Select. It is. Oh, fuck. It is. Sunday. That's crazy. Fuck, it's a Sunday. Um, <laughs> uh, session numero eight. Yep. Ocho. Ocho. I, I forgot what that was in Spanish. Thank you. Thank you, Cueva. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah. We're here. It's Sunday, in it. Yes, it, it tis. Shatter, tis. I, dude, it really spent all day Sunday. cleaning my fucking apartments because you know, let, new MMO launch. So I've been a fucking degenerate all fucking week. <laughs> Shit everywhere. Take up boxes <laughs> stacked up to, to the ceiling. You know what I mean? And I today I was like, you know what, dude? I'm, I'm gonna sleep in. <laughs> To catch up on some Z's, I'm not gonna queue today, and I'm just gonna spend my time cleaning my shit, and it felt great. <laughs> it's not gonna lie. It feels I great having, a, so having a somewhat clean, clean space again. It's, uh, it's dope. Okay, Dutch. Yes. I need to know, how many bags of trash did you throw up? Three. Oh, well then I win. I did four from my room <laughs> alone. <laughs> uh, and one bag of trash was just like, I mean, three bags and then like, a box, because the fucking box my PS5 came in was like I, fucking massive. And most I of my room, I, I must have had about 40 Amazon boxes just underneath piles of clothes. <laughs> it's, I've, I've been I've sick, such... I've been working a lot, it's just got worse and worse. I have such a bad thing with like, non-Amazon boxes, but you know like, you buy someone and come like a nice box. I like yeah, keeping then, them, just in yeah. case I need to like, yeah, send to, like, anything send out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, this past two years, I've not sent fuck, I sent like one thing. Just oh, send, me, like... send me dice, so that, just so you can use your boxes, thoughts? I'm always down. Why would I send you dice when I can just hand deliver them in person? True, you're coming over in April. True. Hey, I mean, I uh, I have a travel adapter now, so you know if you can charge your phone and shit, that's nice. Because uh, my yeah. PS5 came with a fucking like UK plug because I I got it from Amazon UK. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'll just buy a travel adapter. But then I realized the PS4 power cable fits in the PS5. So I didn't have to buy one after all, but I did anyway. That so could have, have been one. hella risky, though. Did you hear what I did to my no. my Nintendo Wii when I moved to the UK? No. I literally like blew it up, plugging it into your walls because your voltage is like double what North American is. So the transformer oh, yeah. blew up when I plugged it in. Yep. Jesus. Broke it. No, I mean so, I, yeah. I plugged my I plugged my PS4 Danger. cable in and I played Demon Souls and everything was fine. So. Danger. We're good. It's because we have more safety in our world. But uh, anyway, if it's your PS4 me. cable that you bought for the Netherlands, then that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, the transformer yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Um, yeah, the, the overall console is the exact fucking same. It's just the power plug. You know, you guys have like a three prong weird fucking thing over there in the UK, yeah. and we just yeah. have like a two, yeah. Yeah. two more round shape. thingies. Could be used a higher voltage. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, I love so. that. This is my favorite malicious complaints. I know it's really off topic. Mm hmm. European Union were like, okay, everyone needs to be within this voltage. Brits were like, we're not going to change ours. We're just going to say, yeah, we're within that voltage. Give or take. <laughs> Give or take five or ten. Which is why we have separate plugs. That, it's we'll that be within the same voltage. Or nah. Well, you've done Brexit <laughs> now, so it doesn't really matter, right? So, yeah. yeah. It doesn't mean, matter anyway. <laughs> but then, hey, Koiba, just in case you like forget that, that you have a different plug for your phone or whatever, I have a travel adapter now, so you Gucci homie, I got you. <laughs> All this electricity, but no fuel. I mean, in doubt, I'll just USB, find the USB plug somewhere and be like, fuck it, I'll do. I mean, yeah, fuck it, plug it in my PC, or plug it in my PlayStation, or whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. Okay. Charge. Um, but yes, last we left off, before we do anything else, 
Do we have any announcements? Sorry, I'm out of it today. Announcements? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Level Select it. Community Day next Friday. Coming Friday. Yes. So if you're in the Level Select Discord and want to hang out, maybe play games, maybe watch a movie, maybe just hang out and chat about God knows what, then hop on in. If you're not, join the Discord because it's fun and you should. Join okay. Level Select. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, um, on that same like Level Select news, uh, this Thursday... We're gonna have a level select founder meeting and um, keep your ears to the ground if you're a level select streamer because after the insane Thank success you. that was the spring charity select, we're uh, beginning to make preparations for our second charity event. So or keep your eyes and ears to the ground. Select. Yeah, fall slash autumn uh, charity select. So uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be good shit. It's gonna be fun. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 episode 7 went up earlier this morning. Oh, yeah. Um, there was a time skippage about just, like, eating popcorn. Dude, 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 you're just freaking me out. You're just staring so seriously at the, at the camera. And I was like, are you mad? So like, slowly. I, I noticed it as well, but I was like, wait, is Luke fucking with us? I was like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> like, is that you, like, like, is that you just being like, yo, hey, sizzle popcorn, hit us up? Is that is that what that was? It's butter kissed, so. Mm. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. It's insert popcorn brand here's popcorn. <laughs> Fix it in post. So, Baldur's Gate 3, episode uh, 7, you say? I'm on it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I think two. it was 7. Um, yeah. Tomorrow, we'll be it'll be, going it'll be the last one tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll be going live with the last Baldur's Gate, and then depending on how quickly we finish Thank that, uh, we'll be moving on to Divinity Original Sin 2. With oh, yeah, it doesn't end, though. Well. Wait, wait, it doesn't end. Last week's uh, hopefully, a lot last. less crashes, at least. Last week was supposed to be the last, but we basically, like, now it's just tying up loose ends. Like, yeah. we, we reached a point in the Underdark where it's like, the next story thread is just behind, oh, you have to finish, yeah, you, you have to wait for the game to come out, but there's yeah. still loose ends and stuff, little yeah, quests here like and there. Yeah, there's parts of the, and the, like, overworld that we haven't completely explored yet. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then moving on to Defense Original Sin 2, which should be smoother, because, holy fucking shit. That game should crash a lot less than Baldur's Gate, or at least be one of the issue of Ethan don't, being able to fucking load in for two hours. You know, don't say less. Nice. Say not at all. Uh, the it's worst the same, part. It's the same studio, so that's why I'm like. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> the worst <laughs> part. <laughs> Fuck. Is that I've just upgraded my RAM on my computer this week because of New World, and I think you that's gonna fix RAM? a lot. I did, and I think that's gonna fix a lot of the issues with Baldur's Gate. The. Maybe. Yeah. I, Baldur's Gate 3 is a lot more ambitious than Divinity Original yeah, Sin yeah, 2. Sure, yeah, and sure. Divinity Original Sin 2 is a sequel, so they any fuck ups are in the first one and they kinda figured that out. So I played through I played through Divinity with no issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanzo and I played through almost all of Divinity 1 and like never had problems. So yeah. Stop talking, you're jinxing it. True. <laughs> True. That was, that was left. Divinity <laughs> 1. That was just Divinity 1. I haven't played Divinity 2 yet. Um, other than that, um, do I have any announcements? Oh, yes! Halloween weekend. We're not doing regular Dungeon Select. We're doing a, a, a Halloween one-shot called uh, The Horror Within. Uh, it will be uh, for characters of level 8. It's going to be uh, a one-shot adventure regarding some, some like... Lovecraftian-esque old one shenanigans, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking good time. I'm excited. I read through the module a little bit, and it's uh, it's looking pretty good. It has like a similar like like madness system, i.e. like as in kind of similar as to how um, fucking what's that shit called? Does it? Um, Look, Thule. No. Fuck, I dude. It's almost it's Strat, Curse of Strat, like that oh, kind of vibe. Right. Madness system, and it's. Uh, uh, Tasha's kiss as well, I guess. Yeah, Tasha's kiss did that as well, a little bit, like a little bit of a madness kind of kind of vibe. Um, so it's gonna be good. Uh, I don't know what Sunday is. Halloween is. It is Halloween? Is it Halloween? Is Sunday Halloween? It is Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. Oh, that's it is Halloween. Dude, hell yeah. So on Halloween, we'll be doing that instead of regular uh, dungeon select. And it's gonna be a good ass time. So uh, players, start making your characters for that shit, boys. Level eight. Level eight. No, no. refuse. Okay. I mean, you you can you can sit out and we'll invite. I don't know, oh, Chris no. or some shit. No. <laughs> Oh, really, Kobe? Oh, you do want to play? Make a fucking character, then. You fucking pussy. <laughs> All right. So, last we left off, unless there's any more announcements. Uh, I just want to there's another audio Gavin's only character. Oh, there is. So that's what. That's what yeah, three yeah. episodes now. Three, yeah. Nice, Whoop. beautiful. I still need to um, record my fucking thing for that. I'm so behind, dude. Do it today. Do after, that. after, yeah, the, I will. As break. soon as DS ends, I'm gonna do it before yeah. I forget. Awesome. Can't. Um. Can't 
So, last we left off, you traveled back from the jungle, traveling towards Eldilon, uh, and you are taking Siren along with you. Ended up in New Darmouth, did some, uh, some tavern activities, some live music, some drinking, some dancing, a bit, uh, bit of exposition on your characters towards each other. Um, <clears throat> some of you had some interesting, uh, you know, the rest has to deafen moments, which is going to be interesting to see how that unfolds or like, you know, what happens today. I'm very excited to see what comes up. Um, but yeah, the party is still on the way back to Eldilon to uh, claim the reward for dismantling the uh, the war that was brewing with the Yuan T. Um, some stuff they might end up getting, uh, you know, there, there's some there's some plots, hooks in Southwold, which is on the way. So if you choose to go do that instead first, that is also a, f a possibility. So uh, I have no idea what's going to happen today. It's really all like in your hands, whether you, you know, choose to go directly to Eldilon or do other shit. It's all, you know, I, I have it all prepared Fuck just in case. Know. So, um, so yeah, with that said, you all wake up, some of you with a slight hangover from the drinking the night prior. Waking up in uh, the Passerby Inn in New Daramouth. How do you start your days? What do you do? Find food. Breakfast. All right. Breakfast indeed. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, you all looked like one communal room for all of you together. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. So you all oh. awaken in the same room. Uh, fuck, that's true. Mm -hmm. Morning. <clears throat> did any... Is that, did anyone, like... Am I getting any weird looks? Because, you know, I feel like maybe I slept pretty restlessly. I don't know. Um, no. No? I you, feel like, I, uh, at you're... least for me, I've decided I'm a heavy-ass sleeper. From what, you, from what you've experienced so far is when you have those dreams, we'll call them. It puts your body in like like a trance like state. So very okay. You're not. So I'm not like yeah, yelling very, and no. You're very okay. quiet. All right, and all right, all right. Laying still. I just sort of sit up on the on the edge of my bed and fucking wipe the sleep out of my eyes. Everyone here? Cass has already gone downstairs before everyone no. woke up. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. If if I see the Kess, only Kess is missing. Uh, I would think so, because the rest of you need the full eight hours yeah. uh, of sleep. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I will quickly stand up and, I don't know, put on some boots and just uh, and head out and head downstairs and see if I can find them. Okay. This yeah. man walks down in just boots. Just boots, nothing else. <laughs> just boots, nothing else. You think I was else. sleeping naked in the communal fucking... Yes. You, you weren't? I, I I wish rolls over to Bro to see Brooks bare ass. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a pillow. Listen, I was I, I was probably honestly like Ranger style asleep in all of my clothes on top of my fucking covers, like a Prison like style. a plank. Yeah. I will yeah. if I see Kess is gone. I'll just have a quick search to where. I usually fell asleep. I just have a quick like, glaze and see if I see anything there. <laughs> I, say, I would immediately go downstairs because I would get distressed if she's gone for too long. <laughs> okay, so Davian, you dart out the room, uh, probably closely followed by Daigon. Um What are you doing, uh, Elasrin? I'm seeing where Kess well, did fall asleep mm -hmm. and just seeing, the sheet. If, just seeing if there's anything there, seeing if there's a little object there, a tall little necklace. Uh, well, assuming that Kess is downstairs, there won't be yeah. anything. No, but, yeah. uh, I'll, she'll probably have her belonging, belongings on her already. Yep. Yeah. Why is everyone in such a fucking rush to go downstairs? What's going on? <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to assume it's because Kess isn't here and they're worried. Don't, well, well, that's my guess for Dagon. At least no idea what Dabby is. Maybe he smelled the morning. His food <laughs> and is ready to... I, that was a bad time to pause. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I smell the morning. <laughs> Remember morning, morning food, the breakfast. <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> I've never heard the term "smell the morning." Is it like seize the day? No, I. Yes, it like is seize now. the day. It, it is now. Day. Smell the morning. Wake up early, smell the morning. Smell the morning. That's smell it. Morning. You're on the way. Exactly. It's that not a, a saying that you come from. My father says it a lot. 
No, no, no we're definitely not the same. Okay. Where we're I'll pay from. DM. What difference? Yeah. Seize this dick. Oh. I'll pay we more. So, uh, with that said, um, Cass, what are you doing downstairs? Like, before everyone shows up, are you just, are you just starting your day? Yeah, she's just kind of sat having a cup of tea or something. Okay, we'll be using them in one of the corner booths, have some tea yeah. served to you. Um, fair enough. Uh, Davian, since you're the first one to dive downstairs, uh, you see Kes sitting in the corner booth drinking a cuppa. Uh, you don't get much, like, alone time because close, following closely behind you is Daigon, who also like, in instantly darted downstairs as soon as she noticed Kes was gone. Son of a bitch. <laughs> So the both of you get downstairs before the rest. As I, as I walk, I'll I'll go to the, go to the bar and I don't know, ask for a cup of tea, I guess, and then uh, join Cass in the booth. Yeah, I would just go sit down and just not say anything. I just, well, obviously, I just sit there and sit next to her and just kind of be looking at her. And just also quick check, like quick up and down, like there's no visible, like injuries or signs of any altercations. Nope, she's fine. Cool. Then I'll just sit there, not so much like looking like expectantly, like I'm waiting for you to tell me anything, but just like a, hi, I'm here now, and just I'm here if you need anything. If not, I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat. I'll take a seat in the booth opposite. I guess the two of them. You sat next to Kess, right? Yeah. And I'll just sort of, with my tea, stirring it and occasionally kind of just glancing up at Kess in a sussy kind of way. <laughs> if, if Davian at all is looking like that, I pick up on that vibe. I just, you get like, it goes from just like the, the cat happy staring at you to like when the cat's angry at you, you know, and like the, the eyes kind of If you had fur, it would, would be bristling. Be, yeah. And I'm just like staring at Davian. <laughs> Like that. <clears throat> You're up early. Yeah, I um wanted to have some time to be by myself for a little while. Do you uh, have any weird dreams last night? Mm, no. Weird, because I could have sworn you were speaking in your sleep. Can I insight check that and see if he's lying? Yeah, sure. Persuasion or deception, uh, Davian. 23. <laughs> okay, hi. Oh my god. Well, it's not 23, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's a natural nine. <laughs> <clears throat> I am not lying. But it's a reinterpretation of the truth. <laughs> After she said that and, and like answered the question, I just signed to Kess. Did you still want to be alone? I can, I can go. I'll take him. I'll make him leave. Um. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kaz is gonna sign back. Why don't you go get a cup of tea or something? I'll Ooh. nod and I'll, I'll, I'll ask if she wants one before I go. Oh, yes, please. I just finished okay. mine. Okay, so I'll go, I'll go walk to the bar and get two. Okay. The dragon's gone for a little bit. Is there anything? I'm gonna very quickly take the cost of tea. That's mm -hmm. now a necklace. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna like slam it on the table in my hand and turn my hand over and hold it out. That was very they know each other. They know each other. Yes. <gasps> oh I know. Oh boy. And a apparently you've been asking a lot of questions. Yeah, I wanted to know more about the stone. Naturally, since you made it our business collectively. It would be foolish for me to just go in blind. But I had uh, oh, I have a dream 
a dream. <clears throat> and he, this voice tells me everything that you've said to your friend. Mm. Does that, does that not frighten you a little? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm mostly assuming that you probably won't entirely told the truth. Probably. But what makes you think you've been told the truth? I've known him for years. I've started to get the feeling that maybe my friend... Quite, not quite as friendly as yours. That's probably true. I guess we're when like we all start making way down. Yeah. Just like as I, I figure, yeah. and I come back with the two cups of tea <laughs> as they hit, get down the stairs. One of the teas yeah, sure. is that abomination of a tea that's barely colored at all. It's mostly milk. It's tea flavored milk, and that's mm -hmm. mine. And the other one looks like a normal proper tea, and that's my guess. <laughs> An abomination. Normal property. I mean, we've most a lot of UK players here. Got to got to preface that I'm aware that this is appalling, but as long as they didn't make it in a microwave in the background. Yeah. <laughs> as people start sort of coming downstairs, I'll kind of put the necklace back on and tuck it into my shirt. <clears throat> Just, uh, you know, be 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 wary. Um. And, and if, okay. Oh, okay. Everyone's here. Okay. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. you want to do something? Yeah. Well, I, just like I, right before everyone gets into earshot, sort of as as everyone sort of as I notice everyone's going down, I put the necklace on and I just say, "Just be wary, Kesslin." And then she... throw me back in my chair. Shame bomb drop. <laughs> she freezes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> if you mention that name to anyone, Kasuth will be the last of your worries. And I think we both have something to worry about. Good morning. Davin, how's the smell of the morning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the smell of the morning. It depends where you are. Um, I just, Out here. Um, Good <laughs> with, with a passive perception of 14, hmm? can I pick up on that? Would that be enough to pick up on that Kess looks a bit more rattled than when I left to get the tea? I don't necessarily know what, but just because of her reaction to um, the, the name. That depends. Like, that depends. Is Kess trying to, like, you know, look like she's still calm, composed when saying um, that? Or... Yeah. Then I don't think, I don't think you'll, you'll pick up on that. Dang! Okay. So, has, um, breakfast been ordered, or you guys just ordered yourselves drinks? So, what do you say, breakfast? I don't know what you want. Food. Uh, just, just please. Still trying to take in the smell of the morning. Eggs, I hate bread, so sausages. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, the, the, the full shebang. All right, tomatoes, and potatoes, maybe. Yeah, what does the full shebang mean to you? Um, um unfamiliar. Well, it depends, right? A little bit of everything. That is everything. Uh, completely in with the breakfast. That was in our cost of breakfast being included. Right. So, like a continental breakfast. What yeah, the bloody hell does that mean? The new continental breakfast. Sounds like a band. What's the old continental breakfast? No idea. It's like the new one, but different. <laughs> it depends which continent you're on. <laughs> I'll, I'll get breakfast. Um, Thank you very much. Here Siren goes sit down. What is continental breakfast? Well, we have everything. No Guess idea. What? You have pancakes and waffles and like these little danishes i don't know why they're called danishes <laughs> no, i don't know what continent you're from jacks we're it's definitely usually, not from the same place yeah, different continent here <laughs> you should meet some hash browns bread. bacon oh, yeah, in mont builder they eat sounds like a breakfast, to me. breakfast but i feel like that's a bit strange elsewhere yes called cereal cereal what like oats cereal i guess that's more of a uh the dolkin thing what cereal? Believe it or not, many people have had cereal. <laughs> I haven't. Well, well, in the in the politest way possible, Siren, I wasn't expecting you to be 
well prepare well versed in, in underwhelmed <laughs> cuisine, but she'll like grab the piece of parchment out again and just writes down cereal on the list. No, that's, <laughs> that's <okay. laughs> she's like she's like Captain America with his little notebook, yeah. with, like the things. To... Oh, it's cute. <clears throat> yeah, then what's the uh, what's on the agenda for the day? Uh, when Elazarin says that, I I signed to Kess. Oh, bookstore. Dagon needs to get some paper and and books and stuff. I don't mind doing a general supply run. Just I need to go to the magic need. shop. I believe um, I've I've been here before. Um, I think there's a general goods store down the street that sells paper and whatnot, if that's what you're looking for, Daigon. Um, I will, um, sign to Kess. I'd kind of like a, a journal. Pen and paper will work, but I'd like it bound in something if possible for ease of use. So a blank journal's really what I'm looking for. I'm gonna pull out a blank book I have in my bag and just hand it to her. And then I just, I just look confused, look at it, and I just go, and then I put it down to talk again and go, Oh, well, that was much easier. <laughs> I guess I just need a, a pen and ink now. General goods but... should have that. Is that. Well, they'll be signing, but, you know. Is there a magic store here, Siren? Siren knows too... thieves can't. I'm not, I'm not too, too, too familiar with them. <laughs> Oh, the the book you gave me, uh, Bell slash Guess. What's it look like? Just out of curiosity, like the cover. Is it just like pretty nondescript, basic, like a leather cover? Is it a color? Does it have any pictures? It's or on um it? a brown leather, quite yeah. aged, with um like embellishes of uh, flowers and leaves, um, okay. some of which you, you don't recognize. Okay. Um, magic shop, there's, uh, I believe so, further down the road on, on a different square. I wonder. Uh, at that point, uh, the barkeep will approach with just a plethora of breakfast foods all like set up on like a big platter. Just kind of, it's on, on, on the middle of the table. Thank you very much. Or right, bone apple chief, or whatever it is they say. Um, <laughs> smell of the morning to you. Smell of the morning, right. <laughs> and he goes back to his bar. Here's the thing. It's more common than you think. Stop. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I did say it was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just like eating breakfast. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you guys have your breakfast. Just, uh, you know, you're <laughs> going your to have a cup of tea uh, with breakfast. I'm going to have. If you want to, absolutely. If they have squeeze, if they have juice, you know, like a squeezed orange juice. They do. They the breakfast and came with like a that. with like a little pitcher of orange juice and a pitcher of uh, milk. I'll have I'll have some orange juice. There you go. In the towns, the smell of the morning tends to be characterized by the fresh shits that everyone throws into the streets. But you know, when you get out into the wilderness, it's you know, it's it's a lot more pleasant. The smell of animal shit instead. I meant the. Well, I, I'm around farmsteads and whatnot. Yeah, animal shit's pretty bad, but... The smell of the morning I'm used to is more... musky? Oh, shit. Musky? It's... I suppose it depends who you're waking up next to. Well, <laughs> the jungle carries a lot of scents and... In us, you want tea, we uh, do shed our skin from Ooh. time to time. I think you might have a, a more fine-tuned smeller than... Than, than me, anyway. I mean, are you guys perhaps okay? I it's it's very weird because obviously, John T have a lot of parallels and comparisons to snakes. So mm -hmm. you know, but I also feel like pointing them out sometimes can be really that's not fine. Not sensitive. I don't. But like, yeah. snakes taste smell with their tongue. Is that something that? You want to do as well, or she'll just like point at her nose. What does it look like? You, I, you could do both. 
I suppose. No, we um we use our nose for that. It was just interesting to me. I didn't mean any offense by it. Oh, you're fine. I'll just quietly eat my breakfast. I'm like, I don't know what to say after that. <laughs> Fuck it. It's, just, it's just literally like heads down. Like, bro, bro, bro. Just there yeah. looking yeah. into my cup of tea. So you mentioned you have um, horses stabled here, right? Mm. Maybe yes. Yes. I've never, we have two and a cart. Never rode a horse before. Yes, we called them um, butter and uh, popcorn. Nope. Caramel and pepper. Caramel and pepper. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Butter and popcorn would have been good though. Uh, mm. In all we'll fairness. Save this for next time. You planning you... on buying more horses, Alasrin? I mean, who knows? This is a big continent. Many friends as a man with many stolen. horses. Can't horses can't go everywhere, and sometimes there might be a stopgap between where we might need them. I'm not, I'm not planning. I'm just future proofing. They'll be stolen Are there no... in two weeks. It'll be fine. Are there no horses know. native to this continent? Um, well, when there are in, in some of the provinces, but Keldar in particular um, was a lot more jungle before you came. A lot of it got, uh, you know, removed to make room for settlements and whatnot. Yeah, I Much suppose you can't the, really have uh, horses in the jungle. Much to the annoyance of some of my people, hence, you know, where we just came from. But um, there's no native horses. Horses got brought over from where, you, where you're all from originally. Uh, there are some horse-like creatures uh, further up northeast, where there's more... Zebras or something. Yeah, they've got, like, stripes and, and spots, some of them. Um... It's more more towards the <gasps> north east and Do northwest. Do they have really long neck? No. Actually. Mm. No. Longer, I suppose. Well, unfortunately we're headed south, so I doubt we'll cross the pass anytime soon. <sighs> have you, you you've been to this town before, right? But not any it's other? as far south as I've I've, I've been. New Daramuth, I've been. Uh, I'm pretty familiar because of you know the, the the collaborative efforts between my people and this this city. But anything further south is uh, new to me. It might be an experience. I've got. I think I told you before. Eldalon six uh, quite big guides here that could make it a bit easier, right? Well, yeah, I think I think Elazarin's probably the most enthusiastic of guides, I'm sure. Um, seems a little bit more in tune with the cityscape than I am, at the very least. Very good. Although, that being said, offensive questions aside, I mean, Brooks tends to know his way around as well. <laughs> if there's anything, uh, you know... Any advice I need regarding my next drink, I'll ask him. And she kind of like winks at Brooks slyly. Beginning to feel very uh, stereotyped, uh, reduced. It's a very reductionist way to look at me. Says mm. the man who just asked if but I smelled it... my tongue. Like a snake. I... I think she's got you beat there. I did try to make it sound as reasonable as I could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, I feel like I feel like asking if you have something in common with a snake given that you are, you know, colloquially known as a snake people is fairly less of a touchy thing than being like, yeah, he's an alcoholic. Are it's you sweating? Fine. <clears throat> no, I'm just mildly Ooh. perturbed at the comparison. Aww. He hasn't had a drink yet, so he's having like withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets cranky when he hasn't had his, his morning scotch. <laughs> I mean, you laugh, but at one point in time, beer was commonly drank at breakfast because the water was too unclean to drink anyway. So, 
could have been normal. Think my tea was There's a weird. wine that is 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 drunk in Spain after like eleven o'clock. Yeah. Where's Spain? <laughs> I know this is out of character, you prick. <laughs> Alright, so you guys have your breakfast. Oh, smell of, smell, of <laughs> smell of the morning. That's the episode title right there, dude. Smell, yeah, the smell of the morning. <laughs> smell of the morning. Oh, man. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> Such a good pause. Oh, dude. You guys have your breakfast. Um, uh, you paid for this last night, right? I'm pretty sure you guys yeah, paid for the yes. rooms and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're free to go. Uh, do whatever it is you want to do before you uh, leave general and travel store. southward. This is general store. So we're going general to the general store. store. Yep. Okay. I need ink and a pen. Uh, you enter the general shop and it's owned by um, a, a, a tanned human man, bald head, uh, piercing blue eyes uh, with, like, with like a very like a thin like pencil mustache uh, on his upper lip. Uh, looks at you. Kind of, are you all entering the store? Like all of you are, are together? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of yeah, looks, cool. looks at like, the collective go. bunch of you and. Well, there's no something you see every day. Uh, good morning. What can I do for you? Morning. morning. What can I help you with? Um, we need some ink and a pen, please. Um, when you mean when you say pen, do you mean like uh, like like a quill kind of thing, or you want more like a, like a fancy like fountain pen type type deal? I'll look over at Dagon. I'll just sign back what what writes easiest and travels. Uh, fountain pen, uh, plus it breaks less easy. I look very to... confused that he answered. Oh, fuck! I keep it <laughs> No way! Redacted! I... Didn't happen. It's... No, it's fine. I repeat her question. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, well, fountain pen. It's a bit more expensive, but uh, quills tend to, you know, snap every once in a while. On a fountain pen, you just, you know, as long as you're careful and not complete idiots, you'll, you'll be able to, it'll, it'll last you for a little while. Uh, then the pen. How? I I look at Kess and just say, "Wait, how much is it?" I I wave. I just wave at her and I'm like, <laughs> "How much is it for everything?" Uh, well, if you want one fountain pen, uh, just want how much ink do you want? Like how many? Uh, how much do you plan on writing? I just hold up my book that I, I Kess just gave me. Oh, she's writing a book. Um. <laughs> And full of inkwells, uh, resealable, so the ink doesn't dry out. Uh, I'd say three inkwells filled with like a sealable little cork. And a fountain pen will be about a gold, a gold piece. I will oh, hand him a gold. And then can I give? Can I try and put a gold in Kess's pocket? Like, like without her noticing, or? No, you know what? I don't care. If she chose. I'm just gonna try and do it. I don't care if she notices or not. Okay. I mean. Uh, Kes, would you like? Would you like resist? Would you? Would you be like, nah? Or like, well, how would nah, you respond? Nah, she doesn't how care that much. Okay, there you go. She's like, hey, whatever. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, like, you you grab a gold out of your pocket and immediately feel Diagon's hand like slipping your pockets, depositing a gold piece <laughs> or, in there. Or if she takes it out of the bag, I just toss it in the bag like something. <laughs> <laughs> I pretend I don't notice. <laughs> hey. Your hands like touch with well, anything. Anything else uh, <laughs> for any of you lot? No, don't we have so like I got, a um. I got three? Like a little, balls, yeah. uh, like a like a like a pouch or like a small little bag, do you? Uh, we've got some uh, we've got some bags, some some like uh, you know, like little pouches just that just you small. like close with like the ropes. You know, you tie you put oh, yeah, them in a drawstring bag. Drawstring bag, perfect. this one. Uh, well, how big are we thinking? I've got various oh, sizes. Nothing. Um, sort of small, nothing too big. Uh. He like whips out one yeah, of the pouches kind of, and he just kind of shows you all this do and it's about like it's about like, the size of my fist. Like it's that's... Yeah, no, that that's perfect. Well, uh, you're only out of places to get pickpocketed by children from. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, kitchens <laughs> are a, a a pest in some in some cities. This one included. So, not like there's okay. many up and up opportunities for children. So. Yeah, how much no, I'm, I, look, I feel bad for him, but you know, just keep your hands out of my pockets, please. Come on, fucking... <laughs> uh, it'd be too silver. Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a bit of a ramble there. Uh, I... Ah, uh, hmm. That's annoying. I don't have any silver. <laughs> Get fucked. Hey, can, can, I, is the Lazarus, like, checking his pockets? Is the Lazarus, like, checking well, his pockets? Well, uh, how, how, how much for a bundle of arrows? A uh, bundle of 20 normal arrows should be... Hold on, let me quickly double check so I don't fucking rip you off. Because I want to stay consistent in my prices for once. 
fuck your price. Or do rip them off. It's a, it's a general store. They can charge what the fuck they want. <laughs> That's true. It's a general price. That's why they call it a general uh, store. A bundle of arrows. Uh, you you'll have 20 of them. will be but... one gold piece. Good sir. Shit. Hmm? I, how much... Well, so I was hoping was to bring it up so that we wouldn't uh... have to break the gold. But... How about this? Any of your friends also purchase something, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll give you a little, little group discount. I mean, I actually have plans to purchase, so... Oh, oh, what, do you, what are you, what you buying? Mean? What are you buying? <laughs> what are you selling? <laughs> I mean, if you, if you have some, uh, I'd like to get some, some smith's tools. Uh, I do have some tools. Uh, I'll have to look in the back to see if there's smith's tools left, but... Uh... Yeah, I think uh, that won't be a problem. Let me quickly have a look. And he kind of... They're uh, definitely not cheap. Uh, Let's Dutch check how much Smith tools are. No. Out of character question here. Smith tools are expensive. Just, Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. not cheap. Obviously, there's, there's smaller Smith tools. They're probably like... I think of a blacksmith tools. The main thing I think of primarily is like the anvil. They hit the I'm like, are you just gonna be carrying around? No. Like, no, it'd be like anvil? tongs and a five hammer. Five, five and... Smith yeah. tools are like eight pounds. Okay. He comes out with like uh, with 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 a bunch of different tools. Yeah, uh, for the set that'll be twenty gold pieces. Uh, and, uh, two silver for the pouch, one gold for the uh, arrows. Anyone else want some? I don't suppose you have any pencils. Oh, a few, yeah. I keep running out, so. Right, and he hands he puts out like a like a pre-packaged like five like pencils, just like in a little cardboard box. How oh, much? anyone else want something? Um, I, I could use about uh, ten rations. On it, on it, and he just like whips rations out. Uh, anyone else? Anything? Should anyone else buy rations? I've got like twelve. I'm I've got seven. Good. I have a lot. Okay, fair. Uh, did he charge me anything for those pencils, Dutch? Or uh, he's waiting for like the entire order to be complete, he's and then he's going to tally. Before I uh, calculate oh, prices here, uh, anyone else want to add something to this pile of goodies, or be good? How many dried fish or? Can fish or? Um, <laughs> not really. Uh, it's not really. It's not really uh, something. Uh, well, tuna. <coughs> Canned? No. Uh, I suppose. I think I may have some dried, some dried meats. I don't know about fish, but like like jerky kind of kind of stuff. I have yeah, that. it works. All right. Yeah. Right. Whatever um, the bottle. All of this combined would normally be near in 24 gold uh because you're buying a lot i'll say 20 gold for the whole uh the whole shebang i man. take out one gold I, that's I mean, what i <laughs> realistically my tools are 20 gold yeah. and it's yeah. 20 gold well, i'll put down one <laughs> so it's yeah, me. yeah I'll, I'll put down one i'll put down 18 then fuck you guys and my one gold is the shiniest one. There. Yes, it is. And he like he like kind of <laughs> so much. just wipes the gold into like a little pouch. All right, thanks for uh, for the business. Appreciate it. Um, do you could you tell me where the magic shop is? Uh, yeah, there's um, there's a magic shop. Uh, few exit this this establishment, cross the square, and then take your first left. There'll be like a like a smaller square there with uh, the potion shop and uh, uh, also uh, a shop that peddles in in like, like, like magical trinkets, odds and ends, and that sort of thing. Thank you. No, no worries. Have a good day. Right. Um, I'm gonna head straight to the potion shop. Okay. I'm gonna I go would, with Davian. I would recommend. Well, we all have a few vials of. Hydra blood. I can't imagine anyone else is going to want it. Um, Dagon, could you sell mine for me while I go do other things? Oh, uh, no, yeah. I'll hand her. How many do I have? Five bottles of Hydra blood. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. That's a lot of blood. Yeah. That's a lot of blood, y'all. Uh, I will just gonna have a walk around town whilst I kind of wait. 
happen though, but like I want to kind of hang around the magic shop, mm -hmm. but not go in it. But I'm just gonna like kind of walk around the square until there is no one else there. Okay. I'll go request to the magic shop. Fuck it. I will. I haven't got wait. any hydro blood. Elazarin okay. isn't coming to the potion shop. No, I'm not. So far as you I will leave Onu with Elazarin. Okay. I don't know. It's Jax, are you going to the I'm going to shop? try to pet Onu, <laughs> like, at some points, like... I mean, he's handleable. Just give me a he little... Is, see, how, see how you As, uh, as you kind of, like, tell Onu to, uh, hang around Elazrin, I mean, you already know what's coming. It's better every time. Never gets old. <laughs> All right. I guess me and Dagon then. Oh, and, uh, and Jax. Jax. And me. Yeah. To the potion shop. All right. All right. So you enter the potion shop owned by uh, a short uh, halfling lady. I almost said gnome, but halfling is not a gnome. Uh, halfling lady. Uh, like, like frizzy curled brown hair. Uh, tiny spectacles on her, on her face. Wearing these like green and red uh, robes. Uh, looking at you all. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, looking to uh, sell or barter, probably, because we could probably do with some potions. We we have a lot of Hydra blood. Really? And uh, I think huh. it has some some use. Eep. Yes. Um, harmful, but yes. It's quite a lot. How much? Well, I have three vials. I hold out the five in my or hold them in a fist or whatever. I don't think they are. Five? Hold them. Yeah, five. Guess Eight total? Five. Yeah. Does Eight Jack vials? Um, no, because I was in there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Eight vials of Hydra Blood? Well, I could uh, I could very much use that, actually. Um. Alright, are uh, you looking to purchase something and then we'll, uh, we'll work out a little deal, or...? Yeah, some healing potions, I think, would be a great, right. great idea. Uh, normal, greater, I... superior, supreme. Oh, I'm gonna, um, like, when she says you're looking to purchase anything, I'm gonna nod no, and I'm gonna tap Davian and hold up five fingers and then point to me and then, like, point out the door. Yeah. Implying, like, it's Kess's, so I kind of just want to give her the money. Cause yeah. I don't know if she wanted to. Uh, well, um... How how much for five of the vials for my friend here? Well, um, Hydra blood is, is mainly used uh, to to make some potent um, poisons uh, and whatnot. Um, requires a lot of work. It's dangerous. Um, I'll be willing to say, keeping in mind that I have to refine it. Uh, you know, do a bunch of work with it. I need to make a profit as well. Uh, 100 gold each. Uh, so 500 eyes just very gold. wide. I don't want to be expensive, yeah. Dude, um, if you if you if you have 500 gold to um, to buy them for, then that's that's yeah, of course yeah. perfect. Right. Then uh, so 500 for she'll, uh, she'll hand you uh, 50 platinum. Christ. Yeah, so okay, I'm was, pretty sure I like I'm pretty sure I said at the time that I when I went to get my Hydra blood, I have I took everyone's spare jungle remedy vials. Yeah, which at the time was three. So everyone should have three vials, I think. I mean, I have more jungle remedy vials I could have given you, but I just assumed I didn't because I was like dead and had to be revived, and I wasn't near the Hydra. I, I was fighting the other guys. Like I, I, I also used empty. Of potion I bottle. just gave you two I didn't, I, had. I didn't give you all of them, I just gave you two. I wasn't here, so I have no idea. Yeah. I didn't keep them, so I took your two and gave you gave them back to you. Yes, I, only had three. I, didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't remember you saying that you gave them back, so I Maybe didn't write it down. So I, I would just assume that you have Brooks's and he was busy doing something stupid. <laughs> yeah. Because I still have my vials in my then? inventory. I have three, and that's how much jungle remedy we'd used up to that point. So, so everyone will have three pot three. Everyone will have three. Well, okay. Used to. Yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, quite was specified. Okay, so Davian, Davian would have mine then. Okay, sure. 
Because I but that don't have to have six more on him, including his own. Then in that case, nine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so Jax does also have three. Um, okay, so I will sell those then. Three hundred gold. Uh, as for, well, let me let me let me. I'll, I guess I'll take three hundred for Brooks, and then with my three hundred, how many potions can that buy me? We'll say. How much is a normal? How much is a greater? Normal healing potion, 50 gold. Uh, greater, you're looking at 200 gold. So you could buy one so, greater so, and two normal. Yeah, could I take one greater and two regular healing potions? Of course. Please. Of course. Of course. Perfect. Um, anything else? Uh, we've got some, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've made some some new potions this morning. Um, oh, you look You look like... The well traveled lot, so you were uh, mercenaries of some sort? Yeah, you could say that. Right, uh, facing a lot of interesting, dangerous threats on this new continent, I'm assuming? Well, we exsanguinated a Hydra, so I suppose oh, that should say enough. I can tell by the amount of, of, of mm. blood. Um, well, I, I've got some potions, you know, potions of invulnerability, uh, <clears throat> potions of resistance, potions of speed. Uh, water breathing, uh, strength, um, fire breath. It's a popular when, one. When, um, she, when she said invulnerability, I just kind of like point at her and like hmm? nod my head and then go like this. Ask how much. A uh, potion of vulnerability. Um, you you'll uh, you'll be a little more resistant to most, if not all, types of, of attacks. Really, um, lasts about a minute. Uh, it's about. It's about 500 gold a bottle. I look at the money that I have, the 50 platinum, <laughs> that is for Kess. I'm trying to think, would Kess want that more than the money? <laughs> I don't know. Being, seeing Daigon grappling with this <laughs> <laughs> indecision. Well, we also I would, have, okay, we I also would wait have until Kess can decide for itself. Uh, which is, uh, you know, you can just choose what kind of attacks you want to be resistant to. I have all kinds in stock and they're a little cheaper. About I'll 100 just, gold each. I'll just nod no for now and put the, the coins I got away and I'll just tell Kess later and she can come back if she wants to. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, anyone else uh, want anything? Um, uh, got some, I got, about... I've got some oils as well to go your weapons with. Uh, Making myself a um, lot of... Um... Uh, Could I, I get about 100 gold worth of... um? Uh, uh, alchemical supplies for health potion making. Oh, you're looking to do a bit of uh, brewing yourself? Well, I do dabble and, you know, it's hard to find things on the mm -hmm. road. Let me have a quick look. She actually, on. how much would that, uh, those two vials of pink moss, how much would that cover of that? Huh? Like, oh, how, how much would like those pink moss things go for? Because I, I just need to fill up whatever out of a hundred because I have those two pink vials. Uh, da -da -da -da. Are you proficient with, with like alchemist supplies? Like alchemist alchemy? I am not proficient. Ooh. I do have them though. Okay. Um, well, if you just want, uh, you know, components and whatnot, you know, glass beakers, uh, frames. Uh, stirring rods, mortar and pestle, all that? Is that what you're looking for? Or are you just strictly looking for a lot of the base ingredients? I'm just looking for the ingredients. Alright, um... I mean, shit. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, well, I, I mean, you just say the gold worth. I, just, I know I just need 25 gold pieces worth per potion. Alright, alright. Um, how much you wanted to spend? A hundred, you say? Uh, yes. Oh, I should have that, I should have that. And she kind of like just... <laughs> Wraps it all just up and I can make it up. All right, I'll hand her back ten of the platinum she gave me. All right, I guess. Uh, so can I interest you in any uh, in any you know oils perhaps? Um, Do they work on arrows? Probably not. Or well, one at a time wouldn't be that great. Um, they yeah they will work on arrows. They'll also work on you know. There's also oils that. You know, you rub on yourself and then and, and give you benefits like a like a face rub. She kind of like mimics, you know. 
Uh, we've got um, oil of slipperiness, for instance, which is... Uh... Isn't that just oil? Any uh, oil? Well, yes and no, but... Um, Come get you're your going juice. effects as if the freedom of movement spell has been cast on you, which is quite... Uh, yeah, no, no shit movement in, in, in terrain that's a little more uh, hard to maneuver through. Uh, spells, magical effects that would normally imp stop you from being able to move won't won't last. It's quite useful. How much is that? Uh, Two hundred gold. A oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, just spent all the fucking money I got for the Hydra Blood on health potions, so... I, I, I didn't I, take to buy health potions. No, no, you fucking didn't, but we're uh, spending a lot... Listen, all right, we came in here broke. Or at least okay. I did. Yeah. That's a lot of money for a fucking lube. <laughs> <laughs> Shite looks at you. <laughs> then don't buy it! You have to. I'm not, I'm not holding, a, holding a, 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 a boat to your head, am I? I mean, uh, like, Devin, that's quite rude. Sorry, sorry. Just, uh, just that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So All I right. shouldn't tell I'm you just... about the Oof. potion of invisibility for 5,000 gold pieces then? No, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to go find a Lazar and my fucking bird. Thank you for the potions. Thank you for the your... um. Cooperation. I hope you make good use of the Hydra blood. Take care. And I'll head back out. Who pissed this for Lazarin. I, it, I believe the smell of the morning, which wasn't to his. Uh, oh, I smell of the morning. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. Rug up on the wrong side of the smell of the morning, you know. Just... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so you, you all leave the. The alchemical supplies slash potion shop. Mm -hmm. What is uh, Kes doing? Uh, Kes is at uh, the other place where you can get like um, arcane supplies. Okay. The magic shop. The magic shop. Okay. But the different, the other one. Yeah, the one that sells <laughs> not potion and mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, as you enter this uh, shop, you kind of see. An empty room at first. And as you enter, suddenly in front of you... Because the, the shop itself, from the outside, very mundane looking. Looks like a normal house. You enter, and it's just empty. It's an empty, like, room. No walls, no decorations, nothing. But as you close the door behind you, a portal I appears. Think might be the in front wrong of place. Ah, oh, you bitch. <laughs> you were scared? Oh, it's time. I just, it was very unusual to walk into a completely empty room. <laughs> There's just a portal that appears in front of you. Right, well, ladies first. I will go through the portal. Alright, as you step through the portal, you arrive in a very large, almost like warehouse. Shelves upon shelves upon shelves all around uh, the walls. With with magical trinkets, odds and ends, potions, jewelry, whatever it is you can think of, it's there. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of clients just hustling and bustling, doing some like window shopping. And all the employees seem to be wearing these like pink and white uh, shirts tucked in, uh, tucked in their like uh, pants. Uh, one of which uh, a half elf approaches you. Good morning. Uh, I've seen you find uh, a, a portal. What can I do for you? What are you looking for? Um, I need supplies to cast Find Familiar. Very good, very More good. More animals for the party. Do I hear screams of pain on the other side of the portal? No. Then I step through. Okay. Uh, you step through and you already see Kes, like, talking to, uh, to a half-elf. Find Familiar, you say? Okay. Uh, so that's, that's what? Charcoal, incense, and herbs? Yes, and mm -hmm. uh, a brazier if you have one. Uh, well, we don't sell the braziers because they're quite obviously. Yeah, quite they're big. huge. Uh, but there's a little room adjacent to this where uh, people people can make use of our brazier. We do charge one gold for the uh, ability to use the brazier. So, 
Um, 10 gold, gold worth of ingredients, 1 gold to use the brazier, so that'll be 11 gold total. Anything else? Um, no, that's it. Thank you. All right. And he uh, goes to grab the supplies and hands them to you and then points you to a door uh, where once you open it, you'll see uh, just like very big brass brazier, a small line of people all of all sorts. All You can see like a group of, of, of younger wizards and sorcerers guided by this like, elderly looking man, long gray beard, who seems to be explaining how the brazier works, and you seem to have kind of found like a, a group of students learning how to use the brazier and cast spells with it for the first time. So it's a you know you wait a few minutes before they're all gone and done. Um, yeah. So you cast find familiar. Yep. All right. What familiar do you summon? Uh, a sprite. Nice. 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 What does it look like? Describe it to us. Uh, he is well, very small with very disheveled black hair um, and kind of glowing blue eyes mm -hmm. and uh, his face is set in what seems to be quite a permanent scowl. We match. <laughs> okay. As you imagine you summon, like... As you summon it, it kind of like appears on your shoulder. It just... Yeah. Woke me up. What's going on? In common to you. Um. Do I see you... this? Yeah. Uh, okay. How like long sprites, does this ritual sprites, take? To co that? Compared to most like familiar sprites are, they're just fey spirits and they speak common silver and like they are not your your regular like familiar animal. They very much have like a will of their own and are. Yeah. Yeah. How long? How long does the the summoning take like before this uh, an hour no an it takes an hour mm -hmm. yeah. so then we after probably like five minutes i would have asked you how long it's gonna take <laughs> and if you, you imagine there's a hour, queue of people who need to use these braziers for like different spells for one and they're like you know they, they've been in queue for a while and they're like what's fucking taking them so long oh fine familiar fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> i mean you say that but yes that is that yeah. is probably a thing <laughs> Okay. So uh, if, if Kess tells me it's going to take an hour, then I'll say that I'm going out to let the others know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because so realistically, be how long did we take at the potion like shop? 15 like, minutes, we... maybe. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so I'm, I'm stood outside this random house waiting okay. for the others. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like so it's all around the same square, waiting. so you'll see the people, your uh, friends like exit the potion well, shop. The... Oh. So, other question this. Does Brooks go to the people? Like the rest of the party, or is he just staying outside the fucking house? Like if they kind of see each other. I'll give him a wave if I see him coming up, but I'll wait at the house. No, that's just not fucking going anywhere near you. But <laughs> it's, are you with the rest? No, of the No, like party when or? I see the others come up, I'll okay. give him a wave and I'll. Okay. I'd like to stop at a jeweler shop on the way if I see one. If you see, I might if you see one, is a dangerous yeah, thing. Yeah, I see one. Okay. Okay. I would like to look for a jeweler shop. Oh. oh, okay. Is that what you want to do? It's crazy. Yes, I would uh, like to. There's no on. jeweler shop on this square. Uh, I'm sure there's people around that you can ask. I will ask. I will grab someone that looks somewhat accommodating. Well, not grab, just like, you know. <laughs> I mean, there's town guard, like, patrolling and stuff. And... Uh, excuse me. A uh, young Sorry. lad. Um, Where would the uh, jeweler's place be? Uh, jewelry shop. Uh, if you just follow that road over there, take your first right, uh, across the square. There's a small little family-owned business that does uh, make necklaces, rings, and all that sort of stuff. All right. Thank you very much. No worries. And I will head towards where he told me to. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, we have an hour, uh, like in RP. So yeah, you you make your way to the jewelry shop. Uh, as you enter, there's like this small. A uh, small desk, uh, and you can see a, a, a dwarven uh, woman kind of uh, bent over a desk with uh, like these like these like like ju like the, like a little monocle like the jeweler fucking my dad has them I forgot what they're called but a like loop. The, like yeah but, like just yeah, loop. pops yeah, pops yeah. pops in the eye and just very carefully like know. placing a gemstone in like uh, in a ring and puts it down when she hears you approach. Uh, good morning, afternoon. I've I've been awake for a while, but um, what can I do for you? Um, I'm looking for a 
emerald worth about a hundred gold pieces, please. That's, that's, that's quite the order. Um, what for, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it's a personal project. It, it's more of a, a centerpiece. Right, so it has mastery. to be one whole emerald? It can't be smaller Yeah. Yes, it does need all. to be one whole... Or it could right. be another gem, and just an emerald is preferred. You like the color green, I, I understand. Um, bear with, and she'll uh, go to like the main uh, desk in the in the shop, and as you kind of leave, there's they're like glass. There's like a glass plate on like the desk surface, and underneath you see like a bunch of different gems of a variety of sizes, and she'll like look. Uh, right, I think this one will will do the trick. Um, it's a little over 100 gold. I hope that's, uh, that's all right. Uh, that's fine. All right. Um, that'll be 120 gold pieces for this one. All right. Let me mark that off. And I will hand over the 120 gold. She'll take the, the, the money and... Like, there's like five different locks on this display ca display case and she'll like grab the keys from her from her pockets and like different key and every, in, each, in each lock opens it up. Grabs the emerald, shuts it, and it's uh, you got yourself uh, an emerald worth 120 gold pieces. Sweet. Nice. All right. Hey, anything else for you today? Uh, no, thank you. You've been very accommodating. No problem. And I will uh, go to find the rest of the party, I suppose. All right. Uh, we'll say that unless there's anyone else that wants to do some shopping. Uh, I mean, I want to do, do some shopping stuff, but okay. it depends on the fucking rest of the party. I mean, no, what do you want to do? Well, I mean, I'm going to wait till the, no one's in the fucking magic shop and I want to go in there. But I want to make oh. sure no one fucking sees me. <laughs> right. Oh. All right. That's oh. going to be so, hard because most of us are just chilling yeah, outside. Gonna waiting. Exactly. <laughs> and Kes, and Kes is going to be in there for an hour. I just yeah. fucked me, me and Bella fucked you without knowing. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I see, bro, like, because I'm hanging kind of like not nearby, but at least I'm kind of every now and again, like, I'm like walk around the square every now and again, just kind of like seeing if I can like see them leave. I, I mean, see Brooks, hang out, like, move. Brooks will be outside the door waiting for just, like, uh, Kess. So nice bench smell in the morning. <laughs> I love so, absolutely just people watching. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll if say not, that the fuck hour it. goes by, your, your sprite gets uh, summoned. If she's um, going to be an hour, I'm going to sit there sketching. So okay, fair enough. Um, I'll go. Gonna, I'll go over to Brooks like and give him his. Um... Uh, what'd you wake me up for? Uh? Um, you're my friend now. <laughs> <laughs> my name? Mine? Mm -hmm. Kes. And what's your name? You ask typically when someone asks a name. I assumed you would just follow up and say. I like him. I, I mean, I could have, but... Well, I don't have a name, so you can name me. How about that? Um... Wigglewick. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey. Seven up. How about Hawthorne? But Thorn Hawthorne. for short. Yeah. Thorn? Yeah. Pretty good. Thorn it is. Granbury. <laughs> I'm right. so mad about something, it's fine. <laughs> don't worry about me. Okay. And he'll like he'll, he'll just kind of like fly around your like around your shoulder and just kind of follow you around. Okay. I'm. So I'm gonna leave. What are we doing? Now? Mm -hmm. We're traveling. I need to go meet my other friends. Oh, I haven't been uh, outside the Feywild in a while. It's gonna be interesting. Oh yeah, it's great. Mm. Your friends are they? Uh, what are they like? Well, diverse. Hmm. It's a good, good word. Okay. And then he'll just kind of like vibe around you. Okay. I will walk out the portal and out through the door. Okay. Whenever we see her, I'll just give her the bag of platinum and say, there was a really fancy sounding potion I was going to buy you, but it would have cost all the money. And I didn't know if you'd want it. But there's a potion of invulnerability you could get if you want to spend all of that. Nah, it's fine. I have blue protecting me. I'm alright. Brooks. No. Yeah? 30 platinum for you. Okay. First of all, where the fuck did you get this? Your share of the Hydra blood. From the fucking vials they gave you? Yep. Who the fuck in their right mind spends that much money on fucking blood? 
The same person who sells fucking lube for like 600 gold or something. <laughs> Does that have any uh, special it, magical properties? I'm sort of tempted. Oil of slipperiness? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Is it cinnamon flavored? <laughs> no. That's a bad flavor for lube, by the way. Yeah. Cinnamon? <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking burn. I don't want that that's, anywhere that's near. Just, that just, like just a little bit. Just no, a little that's bit. Hard. No, it's literally. literally it's mint flavor. Quite literally spicy. Oh yeah. Nuts. No. That ass bro tastes like mint. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I I bought some potions with my half, but um, figured I'd just give you the money in exchange. Where's Lazarus? Wait, so there were a hundred gold. Yeah. Per vial. Do I believe him? Little insight check, I guess. Man, just give you thirty fucking platinum. You're gonna question? No. Uh, yeah. That's why he's questioning it. It's uh, not good. It's uh, a three. Well, I got a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. imagine winning with an he's actual. He's telling two. the truth. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> you know, yeah. that's fine. Just if, <laughs> if I'd rolled like an actual one or some shit and been like, "Nah, you're not sure." Okay, uh, I'll hand him back one platinum. Yeah, sure. I'll take a platinum. Absolutely fine. To skim some off the top, like it's sort of expected. As long as you do it in like a, a reasonable level. Does anyone I, hear I him? Would, uh, yeah. Do we hear him? What the fuck was that? Me, dickhead. My new friend. That's Thorn. Hello. Thorn. Where are you from, Thorn? Hey, Wild. Wait, does this... Did you go to the Fae Wild? No! He threw some shit in a big fucking pot and cooked a <laughs> little man. She summoned me. I didn't cook him. I'm now sworn to carry her burdens, as they say. Mm. <laughs> Alright, Lydia. Huh? <laughs> Have you not seen that play? The no. one about the Dragonborn? There's a lot of Dragonborn. What makes them so special? Well, there's just well, there's one play in particular. Mm. There's a house call or something. Any, anyway, it's not important. Very Are different you... plays in the Fair World. Mm. Go. Are you going Ooh. to be traveling with us? Are you? She summoned me. I'm, I'm assuming it's for a reason. Yeah, he's sticking around. Fair enough. What does he do? That's a good question. Uh, I'm gonna. Is it a he? I yes. just signed back. I, I just, I just signed a guess. I mean, what does his weird bird do? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Dagon... We've seen the bird attack things jacks. in combat. Dagon wants We've to know what your weird miss, bird does. But... Yeah, it's a fucking bird. <laughs> Doesn't... It's just a fucking sprite. Yeah. Right, okay, okay, okay. okay. Exactly. Hold on, though. That, that's, there's quite a degree of, of difference here. How? One is a bird that flies around and does bird things. One yes. is a sprite that no one fucking knows what the fuck a sprite thing is. So what's a sprite thing? What does a sprite do? He talks. Yes, he does. Mm-hmm. Only doesn't talk, he clacks and flies around he and he makes stuff. Three languages are that. Hmm. What languages? Common, Elvish, and Sylvan. I'll ask him in Sylvan. What the fuck do you do? He'll reply in <laughs> Sylvan. <laughs> I do whatever she wants me to do. Can you cast spells? I can go invisible. See, That's pretty and cool. he just turns invisible. That's pretty cool. So we just see in front of his lodge talking to Davian. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Davian's killed yeah. him! I just say a few words in Sylvan and he disappears into thin air. <laughs> Davian's killed him! As soon as, like, if that's, like, actually how you respond, he'll, like, uninvisible himself. Like, Ta -da. <laughs> I do that, among other things. Right. He has a bow. Mm -hmm. It's a bow? Like, he wears, yeah. like, a tiny little bow. Oh, it's like a little Cupid. We could arm this man with two heard Cupid. Isn't he the guy that makes people fall in love with each other? Yeah. It's quite popular in the Feywild. I'm gonna I'm gonna telepathically tell him to shoot a Lazarin. Ah, I'm fucking down. Go. Okay. I mean, Lazarin's no, Lazarin doesn't hear him. 
Oh, and Logan's shit. off trying to jimmy his way into the magic shop. Never mind. Oh, within that, I think at some point we we'll fucking just talk to Onu. <laughs> just like, you're passively. <laughs> just like, <laughs> maybe be like, so you're gonna hang around this whole time? Or do you want to go back to Davian? Like, you can just perch somewhere and oh. find it. Thanks, Onu. Doing a stellar job following me. <laughs> <laughs> So what Listen, I was in a shop. I can't take my fucking bird in the shop. <laughs> I left. I left him with you. I, mean... <laughs> I know, but it's just like it's like a half an hour later of him just weighing around. I'm like, really, Onu? Really? Like, <laughs> Don't you have better things with to his, do? Like, yeah. Yeah. His ten feet walking speed or something. It was just like waddling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm walking. <laughs> Did you right. take him to the for the sake of uh, for the sake of, of of not fucking having a shopping episode? Um, <laughs> we've done a lot of shopping. You've done the shopping. Uh, are you Apart leaving Lazarin? You want to do shopping, but they're collectively gathered outside of the magic shop. So what are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to fucking continue walking around a little bit and just kind of be like, uh, sod it. <laughs> um, <laughs> at some point during my walks, did I walk past the jewelers at any point or just like, that's in a different square, right? That's, that's in a different square. So if you like, yeah. if you are going on walks that, that of yeah, that guard, walk. yes, probably. Yeah. What was the name of the, what was the name? Like on it? Oh, good point. Old? At some point someone walks past like, you walk in a fucking ostrich. <laughs> He's an Indian. He's a fucking snowmill, you have God. <laughs> Can't wait for someone to realize that you can just get the shoe bill to hold things and like shoplift with him. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> just put a whole necklace this one is in his called mouth. The gemstone gallery. Do you reckon you could put? They can put fluids in there without swallowing, right? It's not a pelican. <laughs> No, but it's close enough. I have to pee really bad. Can we bad. use him well... to store whiskey? Uh, are you going to end? Are you going to do anything with that? Uh, no, I just, I just, I just wanted to know. Just, okay, fair enough, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. You know, unless it makes. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then I'll. I'll I mean, if we see Lazarin keep going by while we're all done. No, 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 no. He's, he's, he's on post of being like far away where he's like. <laughs> but I will we, eventually. We walk can just up. hear you. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll walk up uh, with Onu. I bet. Oh, is this the is this the magic store? I, I need to go in real quick. Uh, sorry, having yeah. a little, little wander around town. Okay. Did you get lost? No, no, no. I just wanted to have a little wander town. Not so often. Why didn't, uh... why didn't you come in with us? I oh, we I were... wanted to have a little. I I thought we... some... things first. I thought after that dance we were, you know, going to be arm and arm round, but I guess not. You just still owe me a dance, actually. Owe me. Next time no, not like, you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Do I? Yes. You dance. <laughs> when? What do you mean, when? When did I... You could have danced with me last night. I was occupied. It's not my fault. No, I'm just saying you still owe me a dance. Well, he's still having that argument, I'm going to slink into the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing happens to you. Like... You enter the room, completely empty, and suddenly, whew, a portal appears. Not suspicious at all. I'll, I'll walk through. Okay. Uh, same, same, like, visual yeah. for you. Just a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately get approached by an employee. What can I do for you, sir? Oh, good day. Um, do you have the ability to identify magical items here? Absolutely. Um, and what cost is it? Uh, 25 gold per identification. If I got... Sounds perfect. Uh, which, which way? Uh, follow me. And he kind of guides you to like a little, little, little private room uh, with a desk and he goes to sit behind it. All right, just present the uh, the objects on the table along with the 25 gold and I'll... Uh... I'll put 25 gold out and I'll, I will um, put out the blue orb. Ooh. Like from the hydro den. Yes, 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 yes. Um, hold on. Um, there we go. There it is. That it is. Um, he goes to identify the blue orb and tells you this is uh, something known as a drift globe. Um, what this does is, uh, if you are within 60 feet of it, you can speak a command word, 
and uh, it will emanate either the light or the daylight spell. Once used, uh, the daylight spell can't be used again until the next dawn. Uh, you can speak another command word uh, to make the globe uh, illuminate and rise into the air and float no more than five feet off the ground. Um, the globe hovers in this way until you or somebody else grasps it. If you move more than 60 feet away from the hovering globe, it'll uh, it'll follow you until it's within 60 feet of you again. Uh, it will take the shortest route to do so. Um, if somehow the globe gets prevented from moving, uh, it'll sink gently to the ground and becomes inactive and the light will wink out. So basically, um, some light and daylight uh, spell uh, capacity and... Are you familiar with the spell Dancing Light? I've heard of it, but I'm not... Well, basically, a uh, if you activate it with the other command word, it'll just function like a following Dancing Light that will just hover Does it around uh, 60 feet of you. have a command word attached to it, or...? Uh, it doesn't seem like it does, so it's just whatever command word you, you wish to use can, can will do. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you very much. No problem. No. I'll pocket it for now and I'll spend my time thinking of a fucking command. I um, <laughs> don't suppose do you... Do, you... do you purchase Hydro Blood here or is there a different store for that? Um, yes. I mean, I've got two vials of the stuff. Um, how much two vials. Um, let me think. I'll offer you about 75 gold a vial. Yeah, that, sounds perfect. <laughs> that sounds perfect for me. I don't know the value of these things. Thank you very much. Yeah. Trade oh, boy yeah. got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Again. You know, there's a, a, okay. a big, a big, um, you know, they have to, a refinement process before it can be used. And it's quite a dangerous oh, one because uh, so. Hydra blood... Uh, is quite uh, poisonous and also has a nice burn to it if you touch it with your uh, touch it wrong or, or hold it in you know it's 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 volatile I, I would say that's why I keep it in this vials here mm. One, 150 gold total then sounds perfect yep thank you very much and I'll give him the two okay does he give it to him straight gold uh platinum mother <laughs> gonna give it to you in <laughs> gay gold Time to go to the bank. Uh, yeah. Do I have my bird back? Hold on. Yeah, when well, yes. I rolled up, I'm assuming Oni just kind of saw you and was like, okay. Yeah, but Duke was busy bathroom. I, I, I had to yeah, pee, yeah, like, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah I just walked bed. over. And, uh, <laughs> so you leave the shop, it. or are you doing some window shopping? No, that's it. That's all I'm doing. All right. And as you all uh, gather at that square, uh, what do you do? We need to get our cart and our horses. We do. We do. Right, Nothing let's do. get the cart and let's get right. moving. One. I will put my book away. Okay. I want to make a note of where he put it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, in the top of my bag, like. Nice. In the top of bag. It doesn't have its own special pocket or anything like. I don't know what your bag of... is like, man. Brooks's bag is a jumbled collection where he's got like shitty common clothes wrapped around bottles of alcohol to keep them from smashing. <laughs> and rattling. <laughs> yeah. And then a sketchbook. Yeah, there's a sketchbook at the top. It's like half wedged into his mess tin. It's not tidy at all. Very nice. Right, so you go to collect. Um. The horses and carts. Mm -hmm. The uh, gentleman there kind of gives you a nod. Welcome back. Hope your travels uh, went all right. Took good care of your horses for you. Thank you. I don't remember. Did you guys pay me beforehand, or did you? Were you like, we'll see how when we get back? Pretty sure he said it was free. Didn't he say it was free? Am I crazy? Why would it be free? Why would it be free? I don't. That's what I thought, but I swear it was yeah. free. No, we were like, paying on when we came back. Nobody paid for it. For it. Yeah, nobody paid because for we didn't know how long we'd be gone. Definitely yeah. nobody paid for it. But oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Wait, quick math. How many days have you been gone? So, I can tell you. Three. I can check uh, if you oh, allow me. Oh, Today is the. We... I'll, I'll double check. Today is the twenty fifth of Jumas. Okay. You missed. Today is the twenty fifth of you miss. We. Uh, we left on the twentieth. For five days. Like that was what we left the horses on the twentieth. 
Okay, so yeah. let's just say five days then. We, we, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. All right. Uh, no. Nope. Taking care of uh, of the horses, we're keeping them fed and all that. Uh, a gold a day total for the both of them. So uh, it'll be five gold pieces in. I, whoever's paying, I toss in. I give them one gold for like my portion or like to contribute. Um, I pretend I not yes. to see her when <laughs> I pay five gold. Okay. Right, pleasure doing business. Uh, safe travels. Thank you. You all hop in the cart. Sirin kind of looks at the horses from a distance and kind of like, I don't know, horses are big, man. Horses are scary. Especially if you've never seen a horse before, like proper. Oh, horses are as soon as, as soon as we have them, I'll be, like, tending to them, you know? Siren will kind of accompany you and kind of... Can I... at them? I, I'm sh yeah, I'm sure they won't mind. Seem to appreciate it. She kind and of... They, you know, introduce... The, this is uh, Caramel, this is Pepper. Hello, Caramel. Hello, Pepper. And I, I want to sign to cast She gets met with, like, a, the her. classic horse. Yeah. I want to sign to cast someone to tell her never to stand directly behind them because they can get mm. scared and kick you. So, don't. Right now they hitch the cart, so there's not really much risk of that. But right, for but... future, like when they're when we're camping and they're <laughs> just like grazing or something. <laughs> but um, um, can I? Um, well, are you 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 like sit at the front, right, and like yeah, yeah. And drive the carriage. Is there room? Next to you, so I can kind of see how you. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's yeah, there's plenty of room. You can make a last jump. So she'll yeah. uh, hop on and uh, sit beside you for the trip to kind of see how you handle horses and try to see if she can yeah. like, kind of learn a thing or two about well, them. Well, yeah. yes. Uh, can I see the uh, map? Uh, which one? Um, the one of the uh, whole. The province? Uh, the yeah. province, yes. I'll pull out the map of Keldar and All right. hand it over. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take out one of the those, like, uh, what are they called? Compasses? You know, like, the cases that they put, like, paintings oh. and maps and stuff, like, in? Yeah. I forget what they're fucking called. The word like, a, a, uh, the round yes. two. Yes, and, like, right? the two yeah. with the cap yeah, on it. I don't yeah. know yeah. what they're called, but I know what you mean. I, know what you mean. I, I forget, and it's going to bother me. But <laughs> Look it up, um, I pull one of those out. I put the map in. Okay. And then I pull the map back out. Oh. And I'm going to try to identify a shortcut for our trip. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. Using my cartographer's okay. map case. So oh. good hands up. He confirmed. He's cutting down our travel okay. time. Imagine Dutch playing some really cool encounter on <laughs> the North just like, And now you're going to be like, nope. Um, yeah. Fuck your plans, no, Dan. From the, from the road from New Dharmouth to... Southwold, um, there is a shortcut uh, you can take. Uh, I think the I road from, check, right? from New Dharmouth to Southwold is a two-day journey, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a shortcut you can take on the second. Uh, actually, no, I'm lying. You're with horse and cart, so it's probably wait. Well, so yeah, I, th I think I have to make a DC check, anyways, for something, right? Let me pull. I have up. no fucking. I mean, realistically, we can't uh, go very yes. well. Yeah, it's just throwing your magic item in the case. It can be used to special map identify a shortcut. You can use your action to make a DC 15 wisdom perception check. Yeah, it's a, it's a two-day... It's a for healing the map. Okay. Okay. Um, go for it. Roll that, roll that first, then, in that case. All right. That's an 11 plus 4. 15. Okay. You uh, notice a shortcut that you can take on the second day of your trip to Southwold. That would make it so that instead of around, um, like, around 6, 7 p.m., you'll arrive around noon instead, if you take some, take some, uh, dirt roads and whatnot. All right, so the rest of the party basically sees me pull out, like, an extra map out of my map case. Mm -hmm. I'm like, um, well, according, if I look at both these maps together, there's this little shortcut here. We can cut off a little bit of our travel, uh, tomorrow. All right, when, well... Mm? When did you start being able to do that? Level three. What do you mean? Three, level three. <laughs> yeah. level Why didn't you do yeah. that when we first traveled? It's a level three. Well, I was working on my armor. I didn't really have time. 
Fair enough. If you want to travel, <laughs> if you wanted to get there faster, the just do what I do and sleep in the cart. But that would put me on a different sleep schedule. Thorn can help you get to sleep, by the way. But you have to spend much, much less time in the in the in the cart. But but it's not comfortable. By the time I wake up, we're normally either there or making camp. It's a perfect travel plan. That might be fine for a young man as yourself. <laughs> but I have Something. aches and pains that you will eventually discover. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I can't wait for Brooks to become intimately familiar with your aches and pains, Jax. No, he won't know my pains. He'll get the pains when he grows old. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 290 yeah, years older than most of you. If he grows old. True. Fucking the alcohol Jesus. might get it first. I think that was supposed oddly, to be a joke, oddly, Siri, oddly but that sounded very much like a threat. <laughs> Maybe it was. Could be both. Maybe it's a promise. Not sure if you're Jesus. hitting on me or trying to kill me, but... Figure it out. Could be both. Hmm? Let's get it. I'm not sure I like it being both. I'm sure there's some snake-like creature that's eaten mates, <laughs> right? Like spiders. Snake -like I'm going to refrain from making the comment I was thinking of, and instead we're just going to move on. <laughs> well, actually, I think snakes eat their No, babies. no, no. I don't know. I'm awfully fond of... Eating my mates. From <laughs> Are you guys are ever the dip? I try. I try. I try to be classy for once, and then then Davi and Pippi to the punch anyway. So, right. So you are traveling mm -hmm. towards mm -hmm. uh, towards uh, Southwold initially. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Your day of travel goes by all right around the afternoon, like like two three p.m. Um, Sirin and Davian, since you're like mm. looking forward actively, scanning the horizon constantly, I would like uh, Davian in this case and Sirin as well to make a perception check. Sirin is fucking blind as a bat. Same. <laughs> uh oh. Not one. Yikes. Not one. Yikes. Oh, oh, we're just we're too busy just <laughs> looking at each other, you know. Um, oh, don't don't. Koivu will be sad. <laughs> That's why he left. Oh, wait, where'd he go? <laughs> Oh, okay. He's gone to get the Syrian body pillow. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, his heart belongs to a T. You initially don't see it. <laughs> don't we all? But, and kind of like you pass. Initially, you pass this individual, but as you pass, everyone kind of hears this. Hello. Hello. It's Jax. Oh, Hello. Jesus. you're the brother. <laughs> I'll bring, bring the cart to a stop. And he kind Have of look like, around. He kind of like. He has like a bit of a, uh, how do you a say that? Gate. He's not. He's not a walking. A limp. As a limp. limp. A limp. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I'm, I'm sorry. Um. And what you see is like a hood individual. He takes his hood down. And elderly, you can look in human. Like I'm saying. I'm saying like 80 years plus. Uh, stubby nose. Uh, like a like a greenish yellow tinge to his eyes. Bushy mustache. Uh, with 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 gray hair. Or well. You know, a lot of bald patches, but you know that that like comb over, trying to trying to like hide the fact that you're bald on top mm. of the head. Um, <clears throat> wearing some some common brown clothes with like a hooded coat that he that the hood he has since uh, um, put down. I um, I um, my 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 farm. I'm an apple farm. It's, it's down the road a few hours, and I was wondering. Since you're going in that direction, if I could hitch a ride, my uh, body isn't what it used to be anymore. And um, if there's room on that cart of yours, I'd really appreciate a ride to my farm. I would like Wait, to insight check. I would also. How like did to you end up out here? <laughs> Can I insight check? Yeah, we're all doing it. <laughs> um, okay. I'm not. I, I I was visiting a friend uh, a few hours up the road, um. But his uh, his cart broke down and he couldn't give me a ride back, so I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll walk," you know. Not wanting to admit that I am getting old, being a bit too proud, and I'm regretting that decision a little bit. Twenty-one. Dirty twenty. I a hundred percent believe him. He uh, I'm has a farm and would like a ride. 
Oh, we'd be happy to have you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, I would like to cast Seam Visibility. Okay. Just make sure there's nothing. Oh, you don't see anything invisible. Okay. Clever. Oh. Um, the, I can see into the ethereal plane if there's anything going on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing I... that catches your attention. Yeah. I would like to telepathically tell Thorn to use Heart Slayer on him. Oh, hold on. What'd that do? Heart Slayer. So the sprite touches a creature and magically knows its emotional state, and if they fail a DC 10 charisma save, it also knows their alignment. Okay. Cool. Oh, so he's a chaotic, evil old man. Celestials, <laughs> fiends, and undead fail automatically. Um, this individual... Uh, doesn't feel the saving throw, but um, is emotional strength. is tired of life and emotional states. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so sad. Yo, really? Um, <laughs> is that an emotional Ooh. state? I think it is, right? Big mood. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, oh, well, okay, a combination of tired, exhausted, but also, um. Not necessarily stressed, but there seems to be something kind of, like a, not a worry, but more of like a, a minor concern, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, Cass is going to offer her water skin. Um, are you, are you thirsty? Would you oh, like yes. some water? Yes, please. And he like, like, kind of like, kind of like, like shaking arms takes the, this guy's old, dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's very old and kind of drinks from the from the water skin and hands it back. Thank you. No problem. I um, jumped out of the car and try and help him up. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. And he kind of like with your aid uh, climbs into the cart. So my the farm is only a few hours down the road. You can. It's. it's uh, I'm assuming you're traveling towards Southwold because it'll, it'll bring you right past yeah. it pretty much if we stick to the road. Yeah, we're, we're on our way to Southwold, and I'll. Sort of spur on the horses again. Try not to sit on the bird or our sleeping friend. Yeah, I mean, the first thing he does when he enters the cart, he's like, oh my god, there's all... He's like looking around, kind of like... So, um... Wave. You are... Well, it's the... Collection? Um... Are you... What do you do? Are you like... Adventurers? Travelers? Circus. Oh. Interesting. As Davia says that, I was about to point to like the fuck off spear resting across, and then I just put my hand down and go. I'm like, okay, well. What kind of that. what kind of acts do you do you perform? Um, I do illusions. Do you me? Uh, I'm gonna cast minor <gasps> illusion. Oh, I um, and I'm gonna create the image of a the one of the like a hydra head like going towards his face. And you're gonna give him a fucking heart attack. Give him a fucking dude. man a heart attack? What the fuck is wrong with you? You're gonna kill him! And he'll like kill see him. it and he's like, oh! Like it just jump scares, almost fucking topples out the cart. Twitch <laughs> uh, streamer jump scare moment. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Live stream fails. That's <laughs> incredible! How loud is he? Ah, uh, you've probably woken up. He'll, he screams uh, like he yells. Fuck! That's incredible! Thank you. Very good. I'm just, um, I'm just gonna sign to Kess. If he asks what I do, tell him I, I'm a sword swallower, and that's how I got the scar on my throat, and I hide a laugh. Sorry, very rude about well, this so, like, I said if he asks, that's what she yeah. can tell him. Oh, okay, I okay, didn't okay. say tell him. Um, so, you're an illusionist. Uh, yes. What's, what's, so you've, you've, well, you've got some animals, and that points at uh, Onu. Yes. Um, um, he he's the, the beast master, so he does tricks with his bird. Oh, yeah. Pointing to Tavern. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's me. What about, this um... is um, a, a sword swallower. She actually had a bit of an accident once, and now she can't talk, but... Oh, um... well, sorry. All right. Is that what happened? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I totally... I just look when Davian says that, I just give him a deadpan look and just nod yes. <laughs> All right, well, that's mm. incredible. Um, are you performing nearby anytime soon? I would love to... Oh, no, we just young. finished a circuit. We're where, just, where just, yeah, yeah we're, oh, we're having some rest. Oh. 
on our way back to Eldalon to get the boat uh, yes. boat home. All right. Well, um, if you ever do return uh, at some point at, uh, and, and, and perform in, in the area, I'll definitely catch a show. Of course. All right. Um, what was your name? Sorry, I was so rude of me. Oh, uh, you can call me Joseph. Joseph. Nice to meet you. I'm a Lazarin. Why is this coat for Lazarin. Disappointed. Nice to meet you, a Lazarin. If you um, if you if you do ever need, well, if we do ever make it back to the continent, just keep an eye out for posters for the the mystical mercenaries. That's what we call mystical us. Mystical mercenaries. <laughs> okay. With uh, with our appearance of sort of you know fighting types, but we're actually I'll, um, performing. I'll, I'll keep an That's eye out. Thank you. Fucking party name, isn't it? No. <laughs> Ten I will not so, um, <laughs> And this is the point where uh, he just kind of goes into. So yeah, my 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 farm. You see, it's it's an orchard of apple trees and. Uh, uh, maybe as a thank you, I would I would love for you to to maybe taste some, take some with you. They're, they're very juicy. They're they're being shipped all across the known the known lands. Uh, they're very... Do they do they grow different out here? Yes, um, the climate allows for them to grow a lot a lot bigger and juicier than they would back in back in the kingdoms. Interesting. From the kingdoms, are you? Yes. I'd love to try them. Yeah, That's the my, southern uh... kingdom. Yeah. Oh. Back home, we used to make cider every year. I, I have I, my son does the cider making with our apples, but uh, I, could pos- I could probably uh, give you a few bottles as a, as a thank you for Ooh. you know allowing me to hitch a ride with you. Yeah, it Taste of home. Hmm. It's quite good. It's quite good. Yeah, I come from uh, come from Goodwind, so I'm, uh, you know some and... pretty good apples in Goodwind. But I'd love oh, to see how. Uh... I, I promise you, you you'd. This will blow them out the water. We shall see. Mm. Um, do, you, do you have to deal with pests or anything? I don't really know what it's like running only an um, orchard out here. Well, there is, you know, uh, as with any fruit or vegetable you grow, there is pests and, and bugs and whatnot that will... But we um, we have uh, these, these, like, nets, you see. They're enchanted in a way where um, it's impenetrable. Uh, while still, you know, rain and, and that will be able to enter, but anything living, like pests and bugs, aren't able to enter. They'll, they'll it's kind of like a, like a force field, if you will. Just, it keeps them out. This is a bit of a, a weird question. You've not had any sort of arsonists around, have you? Um, not me, no, but I, I uh, one of my, uh, well, I'd say neighbors, but farms, there's typically a lot of, a lot of space between. Yeah. Uh, them uh it's one of the neighbors um had a fire um a few days ago that's a tragedy yes it's, no more it's quite sad. that one just, um just i don't believe so it was a few days ago i think three days ago now okay. three days yeah oh okay did he say his farm there was no a fire? Uh, one of his neighbors, neighbors. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. okay Neighbor, as in, you know, like one of the farms on the road, yeah, yeah, but there's yeah. like, you know, there's, there, there could be miles between one farm and the next yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's been a, a lot of there's fires recently in the area, like around Southward and towards Eldilon. It's kind of scary. I'm kind of just waiting for, you know, when is it my turn, you know? Oh, just make sure you've got, you know, uh, troughs filled with water or. Well, buckets nearby or something like that, because uh... yeah. Well, because we make cider and, and whatnot, we have uh, like a, like a water tower. We, we had that mm. built uh, about a decade ago now, uh, so we have a lot of water. And so, God's forbid, should something happen, we should be able to put it out without is now... suffering any major damage. Brooks is now actively paying attention now that the conversation's moved to alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. It's the worm. Uh, and you guys kind of oh. just keep, keep traveling, taking breaks every once in a while to kind of, you know, eat some food and, and all that. And towards um, towards did dusk. You... Uh, no, not sorry, towards dusk. Dawn. Sorry. Orange? Dawn. Wait, is it? Did dusk? You say the name it is of the dusk. dusk. Dusk is evening. Yeah, yeah, dusk yeah. is evening. I was right. Um, he'll be like, yes, that's my farm right over there. And, uh, like point you to the to a farmhouse with a, a big orchard full of apple trees uh spanning around uh, did he tell us the name of the orchard no can i ask the name of the orchard yes <laughs> and so uh, you said you brew your own cider yes did you brew it on site well um 
we we do the initial process and then we uh we we ship it to um what's his name a minotaur in Eldilon. he he finalizes the process for us hey. i forgot his name brack 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 brackito i believe his name was there's a minotaur that lives in Eldilon. yes he owns a, he owns a brewery he happens to be a very good friend of mine oh there you go didn't know they were the type to be so friendly um, wait brooks that's your friend me? with the brewer that is insane. Why? Would, why? Hmm. Why is that insane? Oh, because from the you source. just don't seem like the type. Fear from the source, I suppose. <clears throat> is this right, some supply? level of sarcasm, well, um, Jax? This this Brachito, he uh, he he finalizes the process for us, and he gets a uh, he has a, a share in the company as well, so he makes a, you know, a nice a nice bit of money, and uh, so it's a I wise mean, investment. We've um. We ship our cider all across the kingdoms, uh, the, the, uh, the Empire, and now uh, Keldar, so... Working on getting Fairbrow's footing uh, next, but... Distance and, you know, lack of proper roads between here and there makes it a bit tough, but... Down mm. the line, maybe when my son takes over, that will be a lot easier, who knows? Sounds like quite the business you run here. Mm. You, um... Don't mind me asking, I was looking at you. You, uh, worship Joaquin, yes? Oh, yes, indeed. I get by the, um, he kind of, like, points at, yeah. like, necklace. Yes, there's a little bit of a giveaway. Mm. Um, I have a question face. for you. I suppose I have an answer. Would you, uh, be able to... <clears throat> well, I'm not the religious type, right? But would it be possible to somehow gain Joaquin's favor for my business and how would we approach that um, i can perform a ritual in the in the morning if we spend our night there i can oh you you if you want to spend the night here in my farm and uh, there's plenty of space we have barns and if you want then yes you can no, absolutely. i can i can he's very perform. good he deals with our box office the what i mean general general manager as well you know oh okay. it's multiple things with the um, um you're the, you're the, the financial the bookkeeper. side. Yes. Yeah, basically. Okay. Um. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, I can, I can, I can pledge a blessing for, for your, for your business. Um, I I'd, 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 be, much, I'd be delighted if you, if you would, if you want, you, you can absolutely stay at, at our place. Uh, I'll make sure to pack some bottles of cider for you in the morning, and and maybe maybe a basket of apples for you to bring, uh, bring yeah. along with you. You're um, very generous. We'll, 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 we'll give you a little impromptu. Show as well, why not? I oh, mean, absolutely. I would love that actually. I Since just look away. at Davia when he says that, and I'm like, you like with a if looks could kill <laughs> shooting daggers look. Well, I'm I'm up front driving the horses and just kind of yelling over my shoulder, so <laughs> well, it, but you you feel you're like, why does the I feel the really glare? Do, do, I, do I see like it burns, Do I see like, Dagon <laughs> pulling this face? I mean, yes, you can see if Dagon is actually like that, like just like fucking glare, yeah, I'm not glare trying to hide it. Back. Like, absolutely, yes, you see it. I don't think maybe. On. I think some of us would like a reasonable amount of rest, but some of us will be happy to perform, I'm sure. I mean, you don't have to, of course. I mean, it got offered, and I would be delighted. But... I, mean, I, I think I think by the sounds of it that, that Davion would definitely like to, but obviously, like, uh, like this one's going to need some rest. It's, you know, it's quite physically difficult. Ah, uh, yes. It's been You've a long been a journey. Well, I, I, we, we have been traveling for some time, but, um, I mean, Onu does most of the work, I suppose, in my, uh, in my own performances, so I'm sure I could do something. And, right. well, Kess seemed up to the task. Absolutely. All right, well, um, just, just guide your horses uh, onto the little dirt road leading up to the premises and I'll uh, I'll make sure that uh, we have an empty barn that we don't really use or what we use for storage but there should be plenty of room for you all to spend the night um, and um, if you, I'll, I'll invite you in for dinner um, and I'll make sure that tomorrow morning I'll have some, some cider and, and whatnot uh, packed up for you to take along with you it's a bit of a thank you for giving me this ride all right, that sounds perfect, and I'll just follow his, follow his directions. All right. 
uh the the like the dirt path kind of takes you past uh the the outline of the of the orchard just filled with apple trees and you kind of look uh at the at some of the like closer to the to the dirt path trees and i mean th he didn't he wasn't lying these apples are significantly bigger than what you're used to than the average apple that you're used to um different colors as well there's there's apple trees with green apples but there's also you know the usual like red yellow and uh, there's also apple trees with just a pure purely purely red apples mm. there's like a variety of different different kinds as we're coming up the dot road i just take a big inhale oh smell of the evening <laughs> i would i like to hit what do you mean by head? smell of the evening there's no such thing as smell smack of the evening. in the back of the head <laughs> sure. listen apple orchard ripe apples Grand smell. Nothing it is. All right, just um, not you'll best. be able to stable the horses uh, right over there, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll see if I have some. I think my son's in Eldilon still. He won't be home for a few days, so it's it's just me. But I'll I'll whip up some food for you all. Oh, much appreciated. And I'll guide the horses to where we we he said we could stable them. As soon as the man's out of your shot. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> what fucking show? <laughs> did we put on? What you mean? Oh mean? no, I can Stop juggle. Stop Why did we lie? Why would we not lie? Well, we could just say we're traveling down the lawn. Oh, Why do we need to be a fucking circus or something? I thought I thought he's a little bit. You've got to admit he's a little bit. You've got to admit he's a little bit. Spider of yours, that you have. That's quite the trick. <laughs> it's not a trick. It's an invention. And not right. Why don't you steal. bring out an interesting invention? Right. That can but be how, a however, most well, people. Well, he might try to steal it. I don't. Well, then we'll I don't think kill he's capable man. of it. Put the patents on my stuff. I don't think he's. Again, I think he might have the. Um... I mean, if we had to pit an old man versus an old man, I'd, I, I think I'm in Jax's corner for this one. Yes, um, I mean, I don't think he um cares about that type of thing. Unless, of course, it's good at making cider or apple production. I don't think he really gives a shit about it. I mean, Realistically, cider is not a not a hard process. Exactly. You saying. would know. <laughs> yes, I would know because I have experience. <laughs> to be fair, it's not being alcoholic to know the, the brewing process. The only alcoholism if he pours it straight into his mouth from the cask. I what makes both, you think he doesn't? I have both brewed and been a bartender. Like, you've been <laughs> out on one one proper bender with me, and I had. I drink in the middle of a fucking jungle with you, sir, and to break the ice. But oh, don't take it so seriously, Brooks. Just a bit of a laugh. When was the last time you all saw me have something to drink? Just now, you're swinging oh, on I'll the just cider got right now. Right in the back of the head, just saying, <laughs> "Smell of the Cheap. evening." And Elijah thinks he's in the position to tell people not to take jokes so seriously. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're all assholes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll I um, do, I'll do some fucking. More another voice. It's, it's not much, but shit. I have some. I had some it's leftover stew. Work. It's 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 warming up right now over the fire. If you want to come inside and I've, I've I've set up the dinner table for you all, and uh, yeah, we'll say that. Ladies first. You all Thank sit you. down. Uh, around this this okay. this like very sturdy wooden table, uh, with a lot of, with a lot of chairs and, and benches kind of spread around. Um. Yeah, normally uh, it'd be it'd be me and my son, but he's out on a business trip to uh, to Eldilon, so it's just me. Uh, so I, I I don't mind the company really. It's, it seems to be a bit of a. Uh... Say your, say your son's out on a business trip. Mm -hmm. Anything to do with this law? Yes, he's uh, he's he's seen. I think he's seen Brachito actually to talk about some 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 stuff regarding. Um... What was it again? Well. But considering starting to grow pears as well and, and go into the pear cider a bit. Ooh. A big, big change of business. Big diversification, um, that. Mm. Oh, it's different flavors, different kinds. Oh, yeah. On a tap cast oh, different bit. kettle of fish. And assigned to her, has to, did he tell us his last name or just his first name? Am just I his first name, Joseph. Can, can we ask his last name? I just got a really unfortunate thought in my head. Oh no! What? So uh, I mean, I mean, I was about to anyway. So okay. So what did you what did you say your son's name was? Uh, Rick. Rick. <laughs> Rick what? Pickle. Wait, what? My, what my last name is that it? 
Uh, just because I know it for a few ricks. <laughs> Willow Mantle. Do I recognize the name? Um, Rick Willow Mantle. Make a history check because of your background in alcoholism. Man. <laughs> I don't have Gokin a background. Richard. <laughs> that should be a background, dude. Alcoholism. Uh, make, make an alcoholism flat check. Flat 10, you know the name Willow Mantle. Uh, you, you've, you've heard of their work before because they are pretty widespread in uh, the Empire and the Kingdoms. Um, only in Apple Cider, but... Um, it kind of clicks because you also saw the the entrance. There was like a sign, uh, the Royal Orchard, and the, the Royal Orchard is also the the brand of the cider. And you're like, you're putting the, the, two, the two together now. That this, is, oh yeah, I have heard of this but brand. I don't, and, I don't know. Oh the, yeah, the it's all coming together. Uh, no. Oh, well, look, not, it's I mean, quite a claim. Not, no, you don't. The, the, it's sun is, the Royal uh, Orchard. The Royal Orchard, yeah. As a nod um, to their uh, beginnings in the Southern Kingdom. Okay. Uh. What was? How do you spell the fucking last name? Willow Mantle. Willow Mantle, as it sounds. How it sounds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. W I. Okay. I, I said okay. Apostrophe. Okay. I don't. Mm. D H Y. Okay. Um. um Clay. Should we say that while your characters and all that are having din dins and small talk, we'll, we shall go for our break and we'll pick it up after yeah. you all had food. Yeah. While we uh, also yeah. take a. a Quick 10 minute breather. And then we're going to have a, a break to think about how we're going to perform. <laughs> I already know how I'm going to perform. I already know how I'm, I'm going to perform. I'm so not performing. Brooks already shall doing shit. Be back in yeah, about 10 yeah, minutes, he did. Guys. Modified Battle Toaster. Thanks for the follow. That's a fucking great user. Nice. <laughs> uh, we'll be back in like 5 10 minutes, guys. Take care. Stay, stick around. Bye. And um, yeah, be right back. Oh.
me, me and Coy are going to run a train on you. Like to make a <coughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. I'm make a public service announcement that Coy about flipped me the bird, and I'm not okay with it, actually. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear yeah, that? yeah, stream heard that, Duke. I heard what? I mean, I, I got the thumbs up, so. You were deafened, yeah. and the first thing that everyone heard was, me and Coy are going to run a train on you. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh. This right. is why we can never record these conversations. <laughs> Cut oh, that one in post. Cut that one in post. Oh. No, not unless they want to. You've had your else. food. Uh, you, you're getting shown like your your place to stay for the night in in in, in one of the barns. Um, right. Um, just give me a shout if there's anything I can do for you. Um, will you be will you be all right? Is it a big bar? Uh, big barn. <laughs> It's so rude to burp in front of him. With a high roof, high ceiling. Yes. If you were a dragonborn, this place would be on fire. Uh, th this this should be uh, perfectly no, fine. Breathe fire, idiot. <laughs> can't thank you enough, actually, for your hospitality. Although, don't take offense if um, Brooks sets up a tent inside the barn for whatever reason. He has a weird habit of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's not a slight uh, to your hospitality by any means. It's just... It's, I mean, it's, it's his prerogative. To... He's just strange. Yeah, he's just a bit. Well, I mean, we're all a bit strange. Away, you know, we're all a bit. Whoa! Well, circus people tend to be so. Oh, yeah. About that show. Don't feel pressured in, in, if you don't want to. Well, we'll definitely have something for you in, in the morning. A hundred percent. All right, I'll uh, I'll be retiring to my uh, to my home then. And uh, need anything? Just let me know. Uh, as soon as he leaves. I would immediately like to take three torches from my backpack <clears throat> and start trying to juggle them. <laughs> oh uh, make a performance check. Is it just me that feels like we should maybe keep watch tonight? I nod in agreement. I'm happy to take watch as well. I am tinkering on my armor for the next hour. Okay. Um, Dutch, just set the um fucking words the activation words on drifter do i have to like use it and that activates it or can i just be like i don't know how does it work how do i, I mean it's your you your, it's your item so you just decide what those code words are and from then on out they shall be the command words for this thing okay i was just like how, how does set that I'm like do i have to fucking like use it I, i'm pretty sure you don't have to attune to it so it's nothing like that it's no, just no. i just think it and that's the thing cool mm -hmm. i got a seven on my performance check. You like three torches you said? Yes. You like one, you'll be two, you, you kinda of like you throw one in the air and then kind of like toss one into the other hand and by the time you're supposed to like catch the one coming down from the air, they just onto the floor. I just wanna keep I'm it gonna, up. I'm just gonna slow clap. <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna try. See what happens. What? What, juggle? Yeah, I wanna try to juggle it a little bit. I'll hand you I'll hand you the torches. We Make a performance check. Up. Ho oh, ho ho. Um, I hope that's a bad ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then plus a d4. These are lit, right? Mm -mm. I was I was gonna say, can I try like <laughs> safely one mid air? It's like, like 24. It has to be a question. As if you've been doing it for years. Dargan slow clapping like she's even gonna bother trying and swallow a sword. <laughs> Swallow my sword. Well, that is how she lost her voice, after all. Mmm, is it? Absolutely. I nod yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that's a blessing for all of us. <laughs> oh shit! Jesus. Ooh. Like, just that same look from before. <laughs> the, the daggers. <laughs> You're not going to wake up tomorrow. Um, so, anyway. No. As the old man walks away, I'm going to go walk. This better be him, DM so anyway, because there's no way I was about to fuck up juggling while the old man was here. No, this is Siren, dickhead. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Who NPCs? It sounded, it sounded old manish, and I was like, hold on. So, anyway. So... Um, should we take watches, or do we reckon we're good for the night? I would very much like to have us take yeah, watches. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think watches is a good idea. Yeah. I don't know. Old man in the middle of nowhere gives me bad vibes. <laughs> I have no trust. 
but no, I probably don't. But why would why would we trust him? We just met him. He seems nice right. enough. Right. Well, um, if you uh, want and, and trust me to do so, I, I'll, I'll gladly take a watch. What are you going to perform uh, tomorrow, Siren? Sorry. What are you going to perform <laughs> in the morning? I'll think about it during my watch. <laughs> it shoots an apple off of someone's head. Mm. I was hoping to do something a bit more impressive than just flying Onu around, but uh, I don't That's know. That's not a bad idea, Elas. Are you offering your head for this? Can Onu juggle? Act? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll hold up my hand when she says, Elasrin, are you offering? Since I can't actually swallow a sword. I can. Fair enough. Um, I, I just look at Dagen. I trust so. Siren. I, I trust. <laughs> Do you wait? I, mean, uh, I trust just, you, Sarah, and just you know. Like, does Dagon have to fight missile or whatever yet? Don't take the risk. Sorry. I think, Laura. She, I think Dagon does have deflect missiles. Do you, do you have deflect fight. missiles? I'm pretty sure yeah. she does. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just in case. It's like just, what? Just that would be just as on. no. That that, that would be just as cool a trick, though, if you think about it. Like, like, it set it up like all. Sharon will shoot the apple and then Dagon's like, also, oh. uh, given that this man is, um, you know, has an orchard, I turn myself into a tree. Then you could turn then? yourself into an apple. I'll, 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 I'll show you, I'll show you. And she kind of stands up and uses. Drum roll. Um, oh. Turn to tree. Uh, she uses her. She has vacation spike. What's it called? Her. Uh, it's called Guardian Soul? Yes. Uses her Guardian Soul, and. Yeah. You see her skin? Uh, turns to bark. She grows a few feet in size. Uh, leaves sprouts on her, on her hands and on, on her head, and uh, yeah, this tree person just. She's now uh, considered large. She's a lot slower, uh, but her arms have grown in in, in 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 size, and she has now a further reach. Um, cool. And she kind of like looks at you, kind of just. I mean, I, I, that just, seems I, impressive I to me. Face, just like yeah, I mean, it's definitely like you see facial features. They're just like covered by bark, yes. covered in bark. Mm. Jolly good show. You look just like a dryad. Uh, and she'll like uh, stop the effect and turns to her normal self again. I um, I I, I it's, it's a new re new development. I um haven't really. It's the first time I did it. Really, I just wanted to see what it would do and how it would feel. Reckon if I focus hard enough, I might be able to you know pop out an apple or two. That that would be very impressive if you could. Feels oddly inappropriate. Anything you say feels oddly inappropriate. If all else fails, though, you could always yeah, use some sort of slice of hand to make it look like you I... sprouted apples. Yes, easily. As after she translates, I tap Kes <laughs> and ask her to translate to Siren. That gives me an idea. If we really have to go with this circus spiel, I could do a trick where I stand with my back to you. You shoot an arrow at me, I turn around and catch it and throw it back at you while you turn into a tree, and then the arrow... Would it hurt you? Unless it hurts you, if you're still a tree. Well, but yes, then the arrow... But, um, cool. It would hurt, but... I mean... Mm, would it? I... Uh, um, I used to see... That wasn't those... intentional, Dutch! <laughs> came out sure. of your mouth, it was a pun, so I just assumed that it was. Um... I'm not <laughs> sure. Fair enough. Maybe? Why don't you trust me? I think I won't be able no, I, to and get I, the apple No, I tell Cast to sign, of course I trust you, just if we wanted to... Maybe we start with the apple trick, and then we do it... Pretend we're gonna do it again, but we do that for... I think we're... Looks at, shock looks, and looks, awe. looks at Cass. I translate, obviously. Exactly. Okay. Maybe. I think we're at this point, we might be overestimating the amount of performance we're going to have to do to get an old man convinced. Oh, I am so glad 
but I am just the bookkeeper. I'm not anything to do You're welcome. So... I figured that would make you happy as well. Oh, I'm, I'm just supposed to, I don't know, bless his... Watch mm. it in the morning anyway. I was going to ask you if I could saw you in half, Alasrin. What? No. How about that? That's... Actually, Alasrin, it might be nice to have a little spiritual guidance for each of our acts. Though I know you don't have to put on a show yourself, but you might make it a little easier for us. I could always summon my dome and make it look pretty. <laughs> well, there you go. And you, you a little light show. I, yeah. I mean, I probably won't be middle of the day. You couldn't see it very well, but I could. Oh, we should have done it before bedtime, but I, you know, we definitely needed time to plan this. I, oh, I see. I've got more of a, I've got more of an idea for uh, Diagon and Siren's routine than my own so far. You imagine you stack, say, three apples, and you shoot one, and then you shoot the other, and then it's like, oh, you shoot the last apple, but then she draws the bow again, and you're like, oh, why is she, why is she gonna fire another arrow? There's no more apples, and then <coughs> Diagon catches it. And throws it back. And then you turn into a tree. And... With an apple. And the, she throws the... Uh, through the apple. I mean, Technically it wouldn't be possible, but because it sounds fucking cool, I'll, as a DM, I'll say yes. <laughs> not, <laughs> not sprouting an apple, but if no, 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 hold but it, like holding an like, apple. And... More of in like... Uh, like all of that has to take place in the span of six seconds. The timing, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she already used her action to shoot. While she uses a reaction to. Well, it's not like a, it's not like there's a turn order or anything. It's just a no, show. No, no, no. But I'm saying, so the time it takes. Oh, for her to for, transform. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But I'll just say rule of cool. Uh, yes. Well, I'll, I'll... Rule of like cool. In combat, we can't do this trick. No, in combat. exactly. But mm. like, yeah. this is I mean, just this, this, this incredible apple yeah. trick we're going to do in combat to confuse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, imagine. The magic of theater. <laughs> you never know. Well, dude. no, but like, say no, but it could come used in combat. Cause say yeah, it's no. like, oh, her range was only. I know this is not true. But say yeah. that for some reason the arrow could only shoot thirty feet, and I'm thirty feet from her, and the enemy's sixty feet from her, and then she could like shoot. Go like she's shooting at me. But then I actually catch the arrow and throw it forward at the next guy. Like there's imagine implications. If you, the trained an arrow to like just be fucking broke <laughs> fingers While effect missiles and then like shit, defect I'll be right back. Uh, I already know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Trick shot video. You can all figure that out. I'll be back. So I'm um, back who fired the arrow. I um seems like we have this show figured out. Um. What about watches? I'll take first. I'll take whatever watch anybody doesn't want. I'll go whenever. Same. I just like nod at and point at Alazrin to indicate I'll do the same. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go take second. The... I'll take the last one. Lazarin, would you mind me it? taking a watch with you? I want to ask you some some things. Um, oh, that's religion fine. based. Yeah, more than like more than welcome to help. We should light a candle, please. <laughs> Uh, no. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you... <laughs> no, never mind. Never mind. Go on! <laughs> no, 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 no. So, first watch would be... Uh, I wanted to walk after the old man as he was walking away. Oh, okay. Let's just... Re oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did yeah. say that. Old okay, man, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, sure. 1v1. Um, one. Sorry to Fight bother you. What's wrong? What? If I could trouble you... It's not too personal. Um, what happened to your wife? Um, she passed away a few years ago. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Why? I uh, just, no reason. I just realized she wasn't here and, you know, I didn't want to do it for the whole group in case it was a little messy. Okay, well, she was a bit older than me, me and, uh, you know, it was her time, I suppose. All right. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, good night. Good night. And Jax will just walk back and work on his armor for an hour. Okay. Um, um, so the first watch, Davian. Everyone else goes sleepies. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have second watch. We'll do Elazrin and uh, Sirin. Third watch, Diagon. Final watch, Kess. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So yeah. Davian, on your watch. A lot of you to make a perception check, a please. They're gonna be bad. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. Um, you kind of peer outside of the barn every once in a while. Don't really see much. Don't really hear much. Uh, Onu kind of, you know, flies over a bit and doesn't really seem to alert you of anything, either. 
when I'm certain that everyone else is asleep, mm -hmm. I want to wake up Kess. Oh. Okay. Is this uh, everyone else deafened besides Kess, kind of? <laughs> I don't mind. Okay, well, would you would you like this conversation to, to remain private, or do you want everyone else to? Yeah, fuck this? it, dude. Fuck it, dude. Okay, fuck so you. There's no chance for any. Do any of us have high enough passive? I guess passive perception <clears throat> doesn't count when you're asleep. So never mind. Yeah. So if anyone have high enough, they might overhear and wake up, but that's not a thing. Maybe. I would be quiet anyway. I would probably, Look, if, yeah. as, long sure, as, Kess, Kess, as long as Kess is in her bedroll. <laughs> hey, good luck waking Kess up. If, if, if Kess screams, Dutch will undeafen us. So. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Bye. All right. Kess, are you in your bedroll still? Nope. There is just the green vessel in her bedroll. So you know there's no Kess in the bedroll. Um, but I see the vessel. Yeah, you see a, a, an object. Yes. I mean, I know that it's like a little spell casting <laughs> thing. I'm. She's. I mean, <laughs> I don't fucking know what I would even do. Um. I don't think. I don't even think I would. I don't even think I would assume that she was inside it. Absolutely not. Guess I'm um, curious. When you're inside your vessel, do you hear? Yeah. What goes on outside it? I hear everything that goes on outside as if I was in that space. Okay. So you would hear someone rustling through your things with that logic, right? Yeah. So I guess so you hear the rustle I'm... of your bedroll opening. How do you respond? I appear. Fucking shit. And I fall on my, <laughs> just fall on my ass in the middle of the barn. Shh. They're asleep. The... Yeah. Where the fuck were you? <laughs> I was in the bottle. Okay, okay, look, fucking... okay, look, 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 look. Only you and Alazarin know about this. How does Alazarin know? He saw me go into the vessel one night. Oh, okay. Um, I think, so... we should, I think we should take a walk. Okay. And I will head out of the barn and into the orchard. Where there are oh. apples! Mm -hmm. Apple! I'm definitely steal an apple and eat it. Absolutely stealing an apple. <laughs> while we walk. Yeah. While Onu fucking flies around or whatever the fuck. Okay. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so, I didn't really get a chance to have a real conversation about it this morning, but... Um, I don't think I really am a big fan of what's going on between our... I don't even know what to call them. The powers that be? That works. It's very vague, but I suppose I mean, it's Blue that. and Kossuth. I mean, I, I, feel like, I feel like they're listening. They're probably listening right now. They're probably up there nudging and laughing and looking down and like, oh, these... Does that not make you uncomfortable? No, it's been like this since I can remember. Well, I mean, now right. there's just like two of it's them. for you and Blue, but now there's two of them. Hmm. But to be fair, um, two at the same time is a little weird, but I've had, like, other people around me as a child as well. I mean, this whole thing is new to me. I've never made contact <laughs> with anything outside of this realm uh, ever. I, I, I thought the dream started a bit strange, but as soon as I got this thing, I... I don't know. It, everything is very suspect. I, I, I mean, he told me I have a test and that I might die and that I might have to kill people. We, I know, obviously, we're no strangers to violence at this point, but uh, apparently there are others looking for these artifacts mm -hmm. and that I will have to get to them first. And Yes, to become the apprentice. Right. But you didn't have to do anything to prove yourself to Blue. You just seemed to be friends. I, I This baptism by fire quite literally is a little daunting. Fire is an apt term to use. Well, yeah, that was intentional. Yeah. Well, it's slightly different to what I went through. 
What did you considering go? I pretty much went through nothing. I met Blue and <clears throat> he saved me a couple of times, mostly for myself, and uh, kind of stuck around. I don't think it's going to be easy, and I think I need everybody to help. Mm -hmm. Is it... I mean, this is a strange question, but I mean, I've seen what you're capable of. Is it worth it? I think so. I've made a journey I would not have been able to make otherwise. Seen things I wouldn't have seen without him. I would likely be dead. And it's seemingly no cost. <laughs> well, I mean, I never take more than I can give back from but anyone. What you, but what do you give back to Blue? I don't know yet. It's the only only time that has ever happened where I've taken more than I could give in the in the instant mostly because when I made the decision I was pretty young assuming well assuming you're willing to help which somehow feels was somehow intertwined I don't know what Blue's thoughts are on my process here, or if he has any wish for you to accompany me. But, assuming you have some investment here and are willing to help, that means that Daigon would probably follow suit, and that would be a great deal of help. As for the rest, we'll, we'll see how, <laughs> how willing they are to tag along, but it really doesn't seem like it's going to be easy or safe. And we've proven that we we can achieve great things, but at a at a universal gain, I feel like maybe this has less of a gain for everybody here than just for me to prove to some being that I barely I I don't, I'm not familiar with at all, just to prove well, that I'm worth something. I think I can work it so that it seems to have a gain for everyone. Well, suppose every every little will help. I I don't I don't know if Kosuth has intended me to be able to be able to do this alone, but given how I got the first tier, I don't think it's going to get any easier. Well, Blue told me that help is fine. I think I, uh, help is a necessity at this point, as long as I'm the one person who ends up with all three of the tiers. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. In the end, know. it's mostly down to you. You're the one who can touch them at the end of the day. That's true. I almost hesitated and said, I don't know if I can trust people not to take them, but they can't. Exactly. At least there's that. No one can take this from me. I can just dismiss it. Does the same thing happen or is it disappear. just... Oh. I don't know how... I don't think... Although don't no one else can go into similar. it at the moment. What's it what's it like in there? It's very comfortable. I have it decorated. Right. <laughs> Almost a little envious at this point. <laughs> um if you'd like, I'll take your watch last. Or you won't get enough sleep otherwise. No, I'll be fine. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I guess we'll we'll, we'll make our way back. To the barn, having not really kept a very good watch of the actual barn, but we were, you know, we were out there. Mm -hmm. Come back to the barn. Everyone's still sleeping. Uh, Who's taking next watch? I believe it was Lazarin and Siren. Siren, yeah. Right. Well, I'll take a sit down and wait for Kess to get comfortable again. Back, baby. And then um, wake up Lazarin and Siren. To take that watch, and I will uh, have a snooze. Oh, and I'll 
I'll give the apple core to Onu. He can just eat that. Okay. Um, the last one. First yes. things first. Uh, make a perception check, please. Perception. Uh, dirty twenty. <clears throat> you overhear like a slight knock on the door. I will go to the door. See what kind of looks at you. Uh, I kind of put a hand up. I've just been like. Wait, and I'll, I'll, I'll walk in, and I'll, I'll just slowly open it just a little bit, and look. Master Lazarin, I, yes. um, I hope I'm not, uh, I didn't wake you no, up. No, 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 what's the matter? Um, I'd like to have a little word. Okay. And I never want to deafen again real quick. <gasps> Fuck's oh sake. I hope you die. <laughs> You found Ethan Deafen. Oh well. Deafen. Deafen. Oh. Um, I'm afraid I, I haven't been entirely honest. Um, us meeting wasn't a coincidence. Um, uh, you are Lesrin Julius Vinod Dunbar, right? The very same. I have something for you. And he hands you a note. Oh. With on it, a black web, the sword in the middle. A, um, individual told me to give this to you. Nothing else. Did he say anything else or just this? No, oh, he what just told it? me to deliver this message to you. Um, I didn't see him because, well... I felt the, the the point of something in my back told me that if I turned around, it'd kill me. Oh. And it made the note. Yeah. I'm sorry that you were treated that way. I am. Uh, I'm sorry that I that I didn't that I lied. Look, it's fine. It's not a lie. You keeping your interests at heart. Can't fault you for that. I am. Um, I, 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 I hope that you further. I mean, this is it. They just told me. You're going to travel this road tomorrow. You'll encounter a cart full of mercenaries. One of them shall be, um, Elazrin, yada, yada, yada. Um, long name, I'm sorry. And no, it's uh, fine. He, so um, his name, but... They told me that you were half elven, that you were a, a worshipper of Joaquin, and that I'm to deliver this note to you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I, um,. Uh, they said something along the lines of Read the notes Near a fire Okay That sounds about right for them Thank you I'll hand them a gold I'm so sorry that they even threatened you I am um, Well <laughs> They're not usually like that I I'm going to gold I, I, I feel terrible because I don't know It seems that it makes everything else that, that we talked about And Seem less genuine, but it wasn't, I assure you. I just. Oh, no. The only thing so, that I hid was this note and the fact that our meeting was uh, was not a coincidence. It was. Don't you worry about it. Up. I won't I won't let the others know. You I appreciate um, that. Honestly, it's fine. I'm I also know that you're not that a circus, you're... but uh, I should probably keep that illusion. Yes, we'll keep her. We'll pretend this never happened. We never met her. Okay. Sleep well, and I hope, I hope they didn't come again. And then so to he'll return to his, to his house. What was that about? I'll kind of, before I go back in, I'll pocket the, uh, the note. Um, nothing too major. He just wanted to make sure. He wants to ask if there's anything that I needed to do for the blessing tomorrow. Um, he forgot to ask previously. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to roll an inside check. Yeah, of course. <laughs> roll deception for me. Seven. <laughs> Natural 19. <laughs> she kind of looks at you. Are you lying to me? Am I that bad of a liar? Yeah, it's not been my strongest suit, I tell you that much. You can tell <laughs> me if there's anything that troubles you. Perhaps trouble. I could help. I appreciate that offer. There's not much you can do to help, unfortunately. They, uh... So what did you put in your pocket? 
You saw that, did you? It's a hmm? letter. It's a... Uh, old acquaintance, old business partner. It seems as though they've got business with me. I thought I was done with them. It's the last they've been uh, keeping an eye, it seems. Not that I didn't expect that they would. I'll read it later. I just want you to know that you offered to help me with a whole lot, and I appreciate that, and I would like to be able to return the favor somehow, so if there's anything I can do to help you with this old acquaintance, do not hesitate to ask. Yeah. Well, don't worry if it comes to it, but uh, I think for now it might be my own business, rather than uh, so I don't want to drag other people into at this moment in time. Not until I need help. Usually they're not... Uh, All I can do is offer my help. It is up to you to accept it. Usually not this brazen. But, um... You want to ask me about religion? Yes! Uh, at this point, Watson. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it's it's safe to like listen in now. It's just yeah. uh, that little bit. Um, yes, I I would I did have some questions about uh, religion. Um, this I was just wondering this. How much do you know of this, um, Melora? How much would Alanzo know about Melora? Would it be very much like basics? Make up religion or... check. I will try. Uh, you know that she is Bay. She is queen of gods. I fucking hate her. She hates Joaquin. Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I know quite a bit apparently. Uh, twenty-two. Um, hold. I mean, obviously, you know, you know the basics, right? Mm. Um, <clears throat> she uh, is is the goddess of of nature, harvest, um, all of that stuff. You also know about uh, her her um. Her followers typically being druidic slash rangers also dabble, yeah. uh, especially mainly in the, the, the you know like the nature side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know quite a lot. You know, um, uh, that she is definitely uh, one of the like, if pure good would be a thing, she is definitely one of the closest to that. Uh, yeah. Very not a bad bone in her. Very, not a bad, yeah, exactly. Not a bad bone uh, in her, and she she's very much all about keeping nature safe, protecting the animals, and but also protecting people. Um, that that everything there is to know about Melora, just from like a from like a base level, you you kind of like tell her about, and she just kind of sits there and well. I, um, you, you said there was a shrine or something to her in Aldilon, right? There's a shrine to most places. She's well revered. Any, um, any druids? Uh, would I, would I know that there were druids at that temple? Or was you haven't seen any. Oh. Actually, not that know. I'm aware of, but to be fair, the from my understanding of druids, they tend to prefer nature and rather than mm. big cities. Um, you might find a little bit like there'll be. See, I was priests, I was thinking. Um, obviously, with you know, I can transform into a tree. <laughs> um, I have some magical capabilities already. So Want to see maybe learn a bit more about the druidic side of things. Their culture, their religion, Melora. But um, I w we'll see when we uh, we get to the city. I guess. There's not too much I can help with, unfortunately. Um, I would I'm appreciate it if you would just at least but, uh, company me. Can... Oh, happily. Oh, I'm I'm sure I'll be able to help you find someone at least locations to where they're the base on this continent, because I assume there's probably somewhere that they're keeping themselves busy. Thank you, I um I appreciate that. Anytime. I say if you do need anything at all, you just let me know. I'm more than yeah. happy to guide you through the cities. If you need uh, you know that other thing. Yes. I will I'll keep you informed. I'll I'll keep you informed. But... <laughs> um, um, with that, 
If there's anything I would else have you want at do. some point like uh, I've gone outside again just to have like another little look, just a large bit. I would use my uh, the drift globe and um, activated it. Okay. Um, not using daylight. Fucking hell. <laughs> just <laughs> just, just light. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just to test it out and then put it back away and okay. saunter back in and I. Uh, uh... It was Daigon next. Uh, yes. yes. I will. I'll wake up. I'll wake up Daigon. Have fun. See you immediately. Yeah. Goes to sleep as well. Daigon. Yeah. Like for you to roll a perception check, please. Okay. And during my watch, just in case this affects the perception check, like you might ask me to roll with disadvantage because mm -hmm. every time I'm doing any watch now until I finish writing it, which will probably take me a few days, I'm just going to start writing out basically character backstory, but in the form of like the questions I'm most likely to be asked. So like one entry in the journal would be like, <clears throat> why'd you lose your voice? One would be, where are you from? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So I'll That's be fine. writing out a portion of that tonight. It's all good. So it's good. all good. Just just roll up second check. Just normal roll. Fine. Okay. You're just still very much. You're still terrible. very much have your hearing and. Yeah, and, I, and I'm also still like I, I'm not completely absorbed. Like I, I stopped mm -hmm. to look around. Uh, okay. seventeen. Dude, almost fucking choke on my fucking drink. <clears throat> <laughs> Don't die. Don't breathe in your drink, guys. That's bad. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um. Your watch goes by uh, pretty chill. Not much seems to be happening. Um, okay. Every once in a while, you'll hear you'll hear Onu still kind of vibing. Um, mm. I'm assuming Onu just kind of vibes like on top of the barn or whatever, or just sits there. I don't, I don't know if Onu really like goes to bed as soon as uh, Davian does. I assume not. Um, it's a pretty chill night. Not much happening. Cool. What do you wake up for the last watch? Kiss. Because yeah. that's what the plan was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just <clears throat> signed to her, nothing happened. And then she, I also say, thanks again for this, and hold up the book and show where I started writing in it. Um, I'll just sign back. I wasn't using it. Right. I'll get my meerkat and go to bed. Nice. <laughs> Anything you'd like to do with your during your watch, Kess? Yes. Did Brooks pitch the tent, or is he just? <laughs> I don't know. Did he? About? Did that? No, he's okay. just in the open. Whatever. Might be pitching a tent, but yeah, he oh. might not, <laughs> not when he's asleep. It's when you first wake up. Quite oh, you're right. God. Sorry. She might be about to wake watch. up. It's getting close to morning. Yeah. Um, I would <laughs> like to uh, stealth and oh. take his sketchbook out of his bag. Okay. Try and look at make, the uh, sketchbook. Make a stealth check first of all. <laughs> Yeah, Straight porn! Fuck yeah, bro! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so that's uh, plus my stealth, so. <laughs> that looks so pleased right now. <laughs> yeah, don't, you, don't you also get like an extra d4 to stealth as well? Because yes. You're, because you're you. So that is. Because you're you! Uh, 25. <laughs> uh, what's your passive perception, Brooks? <laughs> Twelve, I think. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-six. Eleven. While we were sleeping. Eleven. I Eleven. Was sleeping and like going through stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just, yeah. Okay. I'm making sound. We'll all right. So yeah, you don't hear her approach you at all. Uh, and, I mean, What's the fucking dawn? I'm asleep. You're, you've seen her. You've seen, you've seen Brooks. Uh, you've seen him put the bag. Put it in the bag. So you just you open the bag, and I'm assuming it's just like on top somewhere. Like it's just it's just there, right? So, yeah. You. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I would like to uh, go through it while okay. I do the rest of my watch. You find until, like uh, half an hour till the end. You find sketches of of. There's quite a lot in this sketchbook. Describe it to her. What what are, what are like the first few pages? See, she are you sees? going through like everything in it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Christ. roughly twenty pages of sketches. Uh, the first couple are, um, like a. Uh, young man in like his early to mid 20s uh in the second one he's older than the first one uh, quite thin very slender has like long hair it, they're all in pencils so there's no real color to them uh in the first one this man is asleep with a book in his lap 
in the second one, he is drawing a circle of some kind on the floor, uh, smiling, surrounded by books. Uh, the third one you would know is Brooks's dad, uh, working on something at an anvil. The fourth one is a woman with uh, braided hair and freckles leaning over a bar. Uh, the fifth, sixth, and seventh page have been ripped out. Uh, the eighth page is a uh, male halfling uh, dancing with a with a mug of ale. Uh, nine and ten are uh, pleasure, the tiefling from the friendly giant. Uh, the first one's she's stood in the robe, arms folded, um, sort of smirking. The second one is uh, uh, much more graphic. <laughs> she's like on the she's on the bed on her stomach, like looking behind her, completely naked. Um, after that, there's one of uh, Rianel, the um, the platinum haired lady from the Friendly Giant, sat in a talon booth with her feet up. Uh, there's one of Vary, the Goliath lady. Uh, looks to be telling a joke with her arm around Cav the barman. There is a sketch of Jax uh, leaning over like a, a countertop or a desk full of papers. Um, there is one of Kess and Dagon sitting uh, by one of the fires when we're in the jungle. There is one of uh, a Lazarin dancing with Siren. No. There's one of uh, Davian mid shooting in the festival archery competition. <laughs> uh, there's one of, of there's one of Kess, uh, just Kess, which is like a, a shoulder and above portrait. Um, in the back of the book there are some notes. They're not very extensive notes. Um, it's mostly Dagon likes ginger ale. Lazarus family are jewelry makers uh, <laughs> with a sketch of his family seal. Uh, Kess from the Valen Forest, question mark. Uh, mm. Davin grew up on the continent. Uh, it has a list of like Kesh worships, Lyra and Sehanine. Jax used to be married. Uh, it has notes on like what drinks people like. It has some notes on brewing and mixing drinks. It has a few unnamed ideas for cocktails. Uh, and then there are Five letters in the back. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a fucking snoop. Are you, are you reading the letters as well? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Okay. All right. Uh, the first go. one. I don't know whether I want everyone to deafen for this or not. Up to you. No, none of it's like. None of it's. Super spoilery, so I'm gonna say no. Okay. Um, uh, the first letter is a piece of what looks to be official documentation uh, for a noble um, called Lord Danic Heldenreath of Magni's Blessing. Uh, first of his name, son of Baron Heldenreath of Kale's Point, emissary of investigations on behalf of the Kingdom of Fairborough. There is a seal there, there's a signature. Um, <clears throat> the the first letter starts with urine I hope this reaches you well I've made it safely to the other end of my travel we both know I'm not very good at writing this sort of thing but I, I hope you and dad are okay how's your studying going there's a section that's crossed out I know things were difficult even before I left but I hope you know that I do miss you. I assume at this point that you know what happened, but it's hard to explain, just have faith in me. The second letter is also addressed to Euron. It says, Euron, I'm sorry it took so long to write. Things have been hectic here, but I'm doing well and I hope you are as well. I don't really know how to word this and what to write. I should have written earlier, but I didn't really know how to say it. 
Is uh, his dad doing okay? Do you see him upset in any way, or is he just angry? That's got more crossed out beneath it. Uh, the third one. Dad. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye before I left. It was a stupid argument, and I know it's been... I know I've been difficult to manage at times, but I do appreciate everything. I'm safe right now. I'm happy as can be, all things considered. <clears throat> the rest is crossed out. The fourth one is written much more aggressively. Like, the, the general handwriting is much more scratchy. Elva? I don't intend to return. If I do, I hope I never see you again. Oh. If you haven't already found it, there is a coin purse in the tavern. Under the floorboard, the creek bar, a bedside table. I want you to take it. I want you to use it to travel far, far away. So that if I do ever come back to see my family, I don't ever have to see you again. May the fair folk curse you to never find peace, nor home, nor comfort. Jesus. And that is the letters. Jeez. God damn. Mm. Jesus Christ, Cass, what the fuck did you get? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's uh <laughs> she's gonna put it she's gonna put it back. And uh <laughs> and uh... move away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. With that, as your watch comes to an end, sun is rising, everybody slowly wakes up. And you're on uh, day five of your week-long trip to return to Aldilon. Um, early in the morning, when the everyone's breakers. kind of woken up, um, you'll hear a knock on the barn door. Hello? Are you awake yet? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, morning. Smell of the morning to you. Smell of the, <laughs> smell of the morning. morning. Oh. I fucking hate it. And he like, opens greeting. the barn door and comes in with like, um, like this, this like case of with six bottles, like six like pretty big bottles of of of, of Royal Orchard uh, apple cider, with its uh, like uh, buyer belongings. There you go. Here's some some bottles of cider for you. And um, he also has like a like a wicker basket uh, with a bunch of apples in him. And then kind of... I have a question. I'm set up on my cider... bed all and start putting my boots on. Because he said that they don't finish the cider. They mm -hmm. send it to the Minotaur guy and it gets finished. So is this like that almost like not no, quite No, this is the finished product. This, this is the finished product. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They get some of the shit back, I'm assuming, for like tastings and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was just asking. All right, Joseph. Yes. If you just um, thank you, of course, for the... The cider. Well, thank you for the for the ride home. I appreciate it. We'll we'll, we'll just need uh a li well thir thirty minutes or so to prepare. We'll we'll put on a little oh, demonstration I mean, for you. I don't don't feel forced to 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 show up. Oh, absolutely not. This is what we do. Okay, fair enough. In that case, I'll um oh I'll just wait outside. I'm gonna sit and enjoy the sun, the morning sun. Well, well, step I could give you that. Blessing, as I right, said, I yes, I would, I would right. appreciate that. Right. I'm, I'm not needed here, so I, you know, I only tend the money. I right, you keep the books. books. Yes, so of course, can, uh, uh, in that case, uh, go. let's go. And I will I will take him up to back to his house. Mm -hmm. um, and I will uh, cast Ceremony. Oh, yeah. Takes an hour. Mm -hmm. So that's our prep time. Um, yeah, the prep that's time. our prep time. That's me. Um, I'm going to give juggling a try one more time. And I will. I will. I, I want to like try and teach him how to do it. Check. Uh, uh, He's or, going uh, first. Uh, dedication. Interest. Okay. Uh, which just means for the next twenty-four hours he gets. It makes a saving throw. He gets an, a D four, but eh, yeah, that's just flavor. <laughs> okay. I don't and I mean, just a, a general good blessing, you know. Yeah, like, it's just, but I, I made it look good. Um, and also yeah. whilst I'm there, I want to. Read the letter. Over. You want to read the letter? Yeah, over some fire. But cool. we'll do that after these. Put them the checks. Okay. Uh, performance um, check, uh, Davian. Kess is gonna help and try to teach me. So does that mean I get advantage? Sure. Well, I rolled a five and an eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Gone are the days of. Getting... It brings us to another <laughs> nine, I think. Ooh. Um. Still not great. You you managed yeah. to like, toss him a couple times, and then eventually one like bonks to the ground, and 
I kind of out of out of, okay. out, of out of annoyance. She's like, I'll oh, piss off and he, like I want to the floor as well. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a hunter. I'm a ranger. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to try and make a lasso or a lasso. Sure. Yeah, you have rope, right? And so, um, I'll, I'll say you can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, you know, I want to try and do some, some fucking cowboy shit, right? Okay. Like you spin it, and like you know, the the actual sort of ring of the lasso, like sort of is suspended. Yeah. Make How... a dexterity check. That is something I'm good at. God. <laughs> Why can't I just roll well? <laughs> fucking just God. Duh. God. I'm fucking... going to buy you some dice for Christmas and I'm going to get Ten. them blessed. Someone literally bought me dice for this fucking reason. Ten dexterity check. Uh, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> not great. Fucking ball torture, dude. Every <laughs> time. Okay, so we're not doing the lasso. We're not doing the fucking... We're not juggling... I will, uh... <laughs> Maybe Onu can juggle better than you. Well, I wanted to incorporate Onu somehow. That was supposed to be the point. Have you ever seen a man juggle a bird? You ever seen a bird juggle a man? Maybe <laughs> 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 bird, pretty small man. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, okay. I want to... Hmm. Hmm. Is there any like pitch or uh, oil or like grease in the barn? Uh, not really. No. Be a lot cooler if there was. <laughs> unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so no ring of fire. Okay. <laughs> it burns, burns. I mean, how well does cider burn? Ah! <laughs> not, not, really, not great. Not it doesn't. It doesn't really. Yeah. Eight if you verbalize that you want ten. to burn something. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, mm. How would I make a ring though? Like I was. That's what I was gonna do with the, with the lasso. Like have him fly through it. But I'm shit at it. So. <laughs> so like, is there a? There's not gonna be like a a big wooden ring. Would you rather so, assist in my performance than struggle on your own? I mean, I could make Onu do some like, cool stuff. It just would have been a lot more impressive if I could make him fly through a ring of fire. But that's fine. You know, <laughs> that's fine. Like, just say that most of our supplies are in a different cot. Actually, what about could it could it involve Hawthorne? Wouldn't it be hilarious if Hawthorne rode on Onu? I mean, that could actually be quite useful. But he can already fly. They can both fly. I just thought yeah, it would be Yeah, but I, I figure he can't fly as fast. Ah. What am I, I doing? I mean, Onu can, Onu can fly 60 feet in six seconds, which isn't really that fast. But... I don't know if that check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thorn does not fly that fast. Tiny oh. wings. So, you know, just, you know, for the performance, it might just be funny to have Hawthorne screaming and yelling from the back while Onu did, like, some loop-the-loops and barrel rolls and, I don't know, I'll throw something in the air and he can snatch it out of the air. It's not going to eat me, it's is it? Surely for the sake of, sake of comedy, having a sprite just, Whoa! you know, riding on, on his back might be funny. That's really... Or, all I think it might add, but you know. Will it eat me? No. Eh, fuck it. Yeah, all right. I just you know, I'm sure it's not really going to be that thrilling, but just you know, play it up, put on a show. Can do. I love how the sprite is like part of the party now because it's a sprite. <laughs> just like a dumb animal. This is actually like a, a, a creature that has the intelligence to speak your languages and can mm -hmm. interact with all of you instead of just its owner. It's I hate it. <laughs> it's oh. fucking great. <laughs> I can. I'll gladly open open the show, and then I feel like we should finish with the arrows being thrown and whatever else, because that sounds really, ooh, really exciting. So. That sounds right. good to me. Uh, Brooks, what do you have in mind? Muted. Other than the fact that you are muted. 
I pressed the button. It didn't unmute mm. me. Regarding with myself or with you? Hmm? <laughs> you said, what do I have in mind? I, yeah, you mean right. For my own for port. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I did today that I could always. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I was just going to do some card tricks. Right here. Well, yeah, what do you call that? Like close, close magic or something like that? Uh, is that what it's called? Close up. I don't know, because I've never actually been oh, in a circus. I just know enough card tricks to scam <laughs> people and win games of chance. So essentially, you've been in a circus. I feel like a fucking circus walking around with you a lot sometimes. <laughs> we look like a circus. Speak we yourself. sound like a circus trying to I plan look a absolutely circus normal. <laughs> well, I mean, your disparity from the rest of us is what sort of makes it more extreme. I just look normal. Okay. Well, right. Well, yeah, but you know, we all look very different from one another. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't I know. I think us blue people really fit in. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> huh? Maybe oh. in the winter. <laughs> I think as a what? snake person, I also fit in quite well in this lie of circus acts. It's the humans that are really fit. True. Or the elves. True. Or the elves, you're right. Half oh, elves. half elf. Yeah. Still Elvis. El Elvis. 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 Yo, Elvis is alive? <laughs> you ain't no, 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 no. <laughs> It's hard to like, because I have to like, the S's, and then when there's like an H behind them, like, oh, uh, you know, it's I struggle a little bit. Yeah, that is awkward, isn't it? <sighs> Shut up, old man. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out, out of the front of the barn and just kind of <laughs> let Onu fly. Okay. Get get limbered up, you um, know. I mean, stretch. I'll DM you what the note says, Quibba, to save everyone from having to fucking deafen again. Deafen That's again. fine. I was gonna say we, we can. We can. I have a DM yeah, me as, you, as you basically as you like hold the note near the fire, you'll see like lettering appear. Yeah. Ooh, fancy. Um, Hold on. What the fuck? Questions in MI6. And quickly. Am I your in... mom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> I don't know. Are you? Um... Oh, oh no. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Sorry. Go... Mom, you look Fine. so different. Circus act time. <laughs> That's my circus act. I'm everyone's mother. <laughs> <laughs> it would explain a lot. I'm very old to be changed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Quibba. Don't go shit. <sighs> okay. Uh, so you all uh, gather outside uh, Elazarin and um, Joseph exits the their their house, uh, you know, finishing the ritual. Um, and approach you all. All right. Let's see it. And he's kind of I will, stand, I will. Stand, stands there. Sure, sure. I, am I maybe going first as a warm up or? Mm, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll do it how we always do it. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, <clears throat> how we always do it. You are not built flying. I'm going to pull out. Uh, Two packs of cards for my bag. I'm gonna look at them, make sure which is which, and put one away. Uh Does anyone notice anything missing out my bag? No, I put it back. She put the book back. Okay, cool. Just I didn't checking. steal anything. Am um, I a thief? This time. This time. <laughs> she put spiders in there. Um, True. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna just uh, spend the next five to ten minutes doing sleight of hand shit. Next um, hand check. I'm gonna get him to pick a card, memorize it, put it back in the deck, shuffle it, pull it out. Is this your card? All that sort of stuff. No, that's the wrong card. Okay. Oh, I know why. Lean forward, pull out his actual card from behind his ear. Uh, that's 22. Uh, yeah, yeah. You do all of that, and he's he's, he's very impressed. <coughs> <clears throat> yeah, that, that's it. I'm just doing yeah. card tricks because I can. Mm -hmm. I have no magical abilities. That's great. 
lies. I don't know what you talked about. <clears throat> right, right. What's, what's happening next? Right. I look at Davian. <laughs> it's Davian's turn. All right, and I will. I will. Um, <clears throat> step forward proudly, and stand up straight, and then hold out my right arm and full fluttering out of nowhere from behind, like so, like the roof of the barn or whatever, onto my arm. There he is, Lanz Onu, and. Uh, <laughs> Clinging on, I guess, to the feathers of his <laughs> neck. <He's laughs> I present Hawthorne and Onu, and I will like flip my arm up. I flip my arm up, and Onu goes soaring into the sky, and I don't know, does some aerobatics and stuff, and I'll like be th sort of like throwing up little scraps of the dried like beef jerky or whatever that we got from the general store so he's like swooping down and snatching it out of the air and all, all that good shit you know just just cool bird stuff cool bird stuff you know? and all the while mm -hmm. uh, the hawthorn like is just, Henry, but with a just like grabbing shoebill. onto uh, grabbing onto owners like like feathers and just ah you son of a bitch and <laughs> <laughs> just what's um i'll get the bird but what's what's that little thing it's scary that's a sprite. What? A sprite? Uh, I don't know. Something from the Feywild. He's a magical being. He's just part of the part of the uh, the troop. Part of the package. All right. That was very impressive. And Oda will fucking fly and land down back next to me, and we'll give a a, a bow in unison. Right. It's a good thing a sprites can't throw up. Hmm. Wait. <clears throat> why? Mm, scant. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm like a, I'm like a spirit, you know. I'm not really you. you know, I don't have those innards. Oh, right. That explains why you're so light. Mm. Um. I also don't eat. Guess. Yeah. You, okay. I think. Yep. Kes will go forward and kind of stand in the middle of the performance area. Okay. Um, she's gonna <clears throat> exaggerate her Ganassi traits again, so she builds up a kind of unfelt wind that whips around her. Um, she's gonna create uh, an illusion of a um a griffin Ooh. that she kind of twirls around her with um very flowing movements. Okay. Um. And as she goes faster and faster, she's going to use a disguised self to turn it into um, a being a foot taller than her. Very pale, silvery white hair that flows um, over under a kind of gauzy cloak that shimmers behind her um, as if touched by stars. And uh, then she's going to use, uh, she's going to cast Shadow Blade. Shadow um, <laughs> yeah, come on. Right and uh, create a wreath of shadows before it forms the, the rapier, which she's going to throw at the crowd. And just before it, it's going to hit, like it feels like it's going to hit, it will dissipate into just a cloud of smoke. Oh, cool. God. I'm gonna try and give him a heart attack again. She really is trying to kill, she really just tried to kill this old man. The Hydra before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just roll for a heart attack real quick. Dude, just <laughs> oh, it's a saving throw. Natural twenty. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's it's hard, strong, it helped actually. Yeah. This, the shock actually kickstarted the order of his arrhythmia. He was about to die, and we saved him. <laughs> when the, the, like two five years, years. Of his <laughs> when the the smoke is dissipated, she is turned invisible and can't be seen anymore. Let's go. Oh, well, that would be telling. <laughs> <laughs> so next, it's Siren and Daigon. Siren approaches and... Um, I don't know why I'm talking old man's speech. She, like, approaches <laughs> yeah, with, with three apples from, from the basket yeah. and hands them to Daigon. I'm terrified, Due dude. to her, Lazarin. 
Well, I don't I'm terrified. Are we gonna never sit them, like, one this. on top of each other on my head? Because I need yes. yes. Siren to help. Yes. Then Siren has to help to stack yeah, them. Like, really stack really it up yeah, and I, I start standing move. perfectly still. Yeah, and she'll like get back like sixty feet or whatever the With fuck. A, a centered balance only a monk and cat combined could have. <laughs> <laughs> Tree pose in yoga where I'm standing with one leg bent. With one leg, yeah. Like, Whip her yeah. longbow out. <laughs> Readies three arrows. Here we go. All three at the same time. First one is a dirty 20, so I will say that hits the, the top apple. Oh, okay. What's the AC of an apple? Uh, na <laughs> Whatever the Ten. DM feels like. Yeah, it. exactly. Uh, natural. No, no, no. There's like a, a system that I have for, for stuff like that, in the, inter interacting with objects and stuff. Uh, natural 20 on the second one, so that middle apple also. <laughs> And um, I don't even blink or flinch as she does it. I'm just like chill. second one, uh, the third one also through the apple. Just for a little bit of silly flavor, mm -hmm. we'll say. Can we say the natural twenty actually took out the bottom arrow, and then the middle one fell and landed perfectly without sure. falling off Diagon's head? Absolutely, yes, we can. <laughs> and as she kind of looks at the old man, she then like while looking at the old man, Which whips one? out a fourth like, arrow. Oh, we got another one. And, and, and gets ready and just aims at, aims at Diagon, and then and then Joseph's kind of like, what's going on and she just without really looking at Diagon, just looking at the old man just lets the arrow go and it just whew, uh, question slash point of order before this happens rather than making her roll for my ac because amongst ac is all about just them mostly evading it's not like i'm wearing armor mm -hmm. or something so can i just choose to let it hit me because i mean i already rolled it, and it was like a, it was like a natural that. 17 so i'm assuming that will hit regardless oh, then yeah you're fine you anyway but choose for future i could choose to let it like hit sure. me just to do this thing so, so yeah, you, well, you see this roll roll it's like flying at you yeah. But I technically have to roll damage too, right? For this? That's yeah, you have one. to roll damage because that affects how I can throw it back. Uh, four points of damage. I, ha I have. To, oh, that's unfortunate. I have to reduce the damage to zero to throw it back. So okay. here we go. So you, how much was the damage? Four. Oh, okay. Yeah, ten. So I so I go. catch it and whip it back at her. And as you throw it back, and as you throw it back, the old man is like, "Oh, what's going on?" And <laughs> Syrian just quickly turns into this tree-like figure. Uh, grows a few feet in size, arms stretched, and and one apple hanging from from her like under her like now tree like arm, and just the arrow that you throw back, <laughs> just perfectly splits that apple in half and it falls off, and she turns um, back to her normal self and does a little bow. We call that the four apple foray, Fl flourish, <laughs> flourish, the four apple flourish. That was impressive, I tell you. When she, when, when she whips out the fourth arrow, I got worried for a second, but it was amazing. Very good. Right, with that, we must be on our way. Yes, thank you very much for, for the ride yesterday. I hope you, you slept comfortably and enjoy those apples and, and the ciders. And, uh... Thank you for your help. Yes, thank you kindly. Yes, of course. Apples are delicious. As he right. says that, I just <clears throat> start eating one because I haven't had breakfast yet. I just start biting into no. one of the apples he gave us. Mm -hmm. oh, the yeah, plumpest, right biggest, well. juiciest apples nom, you've, nom, ever, you've ever done had. They're mm. from Texas. It's probably this man grew peaches. Huh? He's got pretty good oh. peach. Stop. Just ignore him. Oh, Move are they on. being fucking stupid again? That's crazy. Yes. I'm going to head over to where we stable the old heath. Yes. And uh, just get them ready. get them ready to go. All right. And as you go, taking Jax's shortcut, cutting mm. half your day of travel off, you arrive yeah, at Southwold at about noon. Woo! Uh, what do you do? You're in Southwold, because that was literally just like the morning trip, and then Jax kind of guides you through this like, through this, like shortcut of things. And, oh, yes, yeah, look at this map. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Before you know today. it, uh, cutting about six hours off your journey, you're suddenly in Southwold. I hell of a shortcut. Oh, to... Dimension? Oh, is it not? Yeah, because we have. We well, yeah, but there's no point the traveling hell, half a day from here. And how is it far from here to Elgol? Um, I'm uh, gonna sign to Daigon. Um, I would like okay. to know what check, check, check. Uh, favor we are trading with Rolly. Um, another day and a half. No, it's another day and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I sign back to Kess. Okay. Agreed, and maybe we can tell her. We can go to Eldalon and then come back, and that'll be our first protocol, just to give her a rough timeline. Absolutely. Well, real realistically, we either set off now, camping on the fucking road, get there 
uh, what, tomorrow, tomorrow night? Tomorrow evening, yeah. Or we stay here and we get there the day after midday, because realistically, if we get there tomorrow at night, we're not gonna, f are we gonna wake Charlie all up with this shit? Are we gonna, or are we just gonna camp and... I mean, we'll probably just spend the evening out. Whatever. So realistically, setting off now, the only thing it has to serve is it makes us spend another night camping. Well, it saves half. Well, saves half a day, roughly. But yeah, but that half a day doesn't. If if we're not gonna go in the fucking middle of the night to to hand this shit in, it's gonna make no difference, is it? So we might as well just arrive mm. at midday the next day and be comfortable. Yes. After his rest in here won't do too much harm. <clears throat> we can always make some inquiries. Just how to business here. Just board of camping. <laughs> I quite like it. Nice band Syrian kind of looks at you all. Um, this is all new terrain for me, so I'll just follow with whatever it is. See, you guys there, there you go. You have now half a day to show Siren around this lovely place that she's never been before a Lazarin. Crack on. We'll leave you to it. Can Di can I can and I just like share a look and just start walking to the solid crow? I think that's what it was called. Yes. Just okay. uh, just to go see what we gotta do. Are you two <laughs> off? Straight away? You got business, do you? Yes, we do. We'll be back in a little bit. Is the solid crow the tavern? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. I'll, go, I'll just go to the tavern. Same. We're all off to the tavern. Well, I'll stable the cart and everything first, I guess. Yeah. It can't be yeah. far from the... Uh... I'll, no, no, no. I'll sign to Kess while we're walking. It's like, it doesn't matter who comes with us. Jolly knows sign. Jolly knows thieves can't hand talk. As you uh, exactly. kind of like approach the stable, uh, you, you're like, I was, uh, I was, they've been treating you, because this is the place where you bought them initially, or like got them from. <laughs> they've been, they've been all right. Remarkably well. Uh, Pepper and Caramel are their names. I don't Pepper know if and you, Caramel. We, yeah, were you here for that? Maybe you were, but... Um, uh, maybe. It might have been one of my I just, co-workers. I just recognize the horses. Definitely a good pair of steeds here. Yeah, I, I think if it wasn't you, whoever, whoever was here told us that you didn't name them, so I thought right. that was well, a bit... Well, uh, you stabled them here for the night and, uh, or for the, uh, for the yeah, day? Yeah, or... probably, yeah, until the morning. Right, um... It's all good. Uh, if, if, it's, if, it, if it's still the morning, it'll be... It'll be... About five silver for the uh, for the day, the rest of the oh, day. No problem. Considering you know half of the day has already passed, so I'm not going to charge you for it. Oh, that's very kind, and I'll uh, I'll hand over five silver. All right. But, but, do I have? Five? I do. I have exactly five silver. There you go. Get rid of your fucking <laughs> change. As a, as a as a side note, I would have burned the letter. And was You've burned the letter. Yeah. Okay. All right. Right. Uh, so uh, yeah, I will. I will tag along to the tavern, and when they go okay, and keep... have it, I will take one of the. Or is it? Is it rude to take a bottle of cider and drink that in the tavern? Probably. Probably. Do they have? Probably. Do they have outdoor seating? Yes, they do. Then I'll sit outside and I'll drink. If you're, if you're going to stable the horses first, yeah. By the time you get there, Brooks has already bought you a drink. Oh okay. Yeah, fair. I would have um, gone to like the, the guard house. Guard house. Real quick, was it six bottles? How many bottles was it? Six. Six. One okay, for each. So of you. They're like they're like, each, they're like yeah. liter bottles. One for each of you. And like I would said, like to Siren if she tag along, with you, like to see where Siren's going, and sort of maybe say it out to stay at the. Okay. Um, she wants. First she tag along first, if she wants. We'll uh, we'll we'll deal with what di what what the, the people at the tavern, and then we'll uh, we'll get to that after. If that's all right. Uh, okay, so... Daigon, Kess... Davian... Uh, Brooks... Jax... All head to the tavern. Davian arrives a little later after stabling the uh, horses. What do you do? Jax opens the tab and starts drinking. Nice. <clears throat> uh, greet greeting you as you enter is this, this red-skinned tiefling... Um, Curled horns, some jewelry, uh, wearing like a brown leather outfit. Uh, mm -hmm. Good, uh, good afternoon. Welcome back to the Solid Crow. I, I see the um, how would I say it? Fortune has driven you into my tavern once again. 
Yes, our um, our journey went very well. Very good to hear. How are the uh, you know, how's that thing the the, the gift treating you? Very well. Hmm. They're a fine pair of horses. You here to give me a gift in return? I just signed back. We're we need to finish up the current task we're hmm. doing, but we're here to get a little bit more information so we can uh okay. we can deal with your gift next she'll sign back to you yeah. uh are you spending i'm just gonna say there's a normal voice because fuck it uh because it's sign language okay. fuck it it's sign language so. are yeah. you spending the rest of the day here yes yes i believe so i signed back she'll sign should be able to knock it out in the day before you leave tomorrow oh it's it's a short task or in theory depending on how you handle it she like yeah i just look at Cass and give her like a raised eyebrow like what do you what do you think oh uh, it would be better to get it out of the way as soon as possible i think considering our conversation um, <clears throat> she like uh look at you too and dress your friends that are sitting like at a table i'm assuming somewhere nearby um i have um some some something came in for you uh, you two, it sits in the back. Would you be able to help me? It's quite, it's quite heavy. <laughs> like, looking at Daigon and, and Kes. And so... Absolutely. And she, like, gets you into the kitchen, uh, locks the door. All right. This little, um... Mm... Fuck, I'm not going to deafen, because everyone is going to have to get the get get informed about this anyway at some in point. In some way. Probably. And you can take it to see what we tell them. <laughs> there is some... Um... Someone got arrested a few weeks ago. Still remains in uh, in in the barracks prison uh, for the past two weeks. Uh, a cold dragonborn woman. Um, she stole something from the mayor's house. A crown. This crown has roots in the astral plane. Uh, Githyanki and their queen Vlakith, uh, to be more to be more precise. Um. It's called the Crown of Corruption. This crown, in the wrong hands, could cause great calamity. As you know, we require these artifacts that are too powerful to be held in common hands to either destroy them or put them somewhere where no one will find them. Uh, this crown is one of those items. It is imperative. You question this dragonborn. Her name is Thix. How do you, how do you uh, spell it? T-R-I-X. Okay. Why not wear... She stashed the crown. Get it to us. A nice reward will await you when you do. Little bonus. Besides the horses and cart. Mm -hmm. Because of the... Uh, the importance of this. Yeah. I just sign... Are we, are we to bring it to you? When we find it, or yes. somewhere else, like a drop point. Okay. Now make sure that it gets to uh, his excellence. Is there a way we can assure Trix that we're compatriots? We're not, though. We're not yeah. compatriots. She wasn't working for them when she. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. Just... Mm. She is not part of our little, uh, little, little family. Mm -hmm. She is. Um... I don't know. I don't. I know very little about her, to be honest. I'm guessing we have to sneak into this prison to question her. Well, I don't know. If you think you can her. put some put some charm in 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 the way and try to see if you can convince Captain Reese to uh, allow you to question the prisoner, who knows? I just signed back. Do I look charming to you? You don't, but she does. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Maybe, perhaps, maybe Captain Riz is a cat person, you don't know. True. True. Weirder things have happened. Hold on. What? Did I hear Captain Riz? Yeah. Maybe. Captain Peter Riz? I don't know. Maybe. Let's find out. <laughs> no! Hey. It's the sun! Return of the king. <laughs> Ba, Return of the wrestle-arm king. Ba, da, ba. <laughs> <laughs> I say okay. Well, I'm obviously we'll do your our, friends. Our best. Uh, could be of assistance here, but um, you know, make sure you don't give away too much. Mm -hmm. Naturally, I'll just I say to Cass again sign language. 
if we involve them, we could just say, just downplay the artifact. Just say that the trade was, I give you cart, like, we got cart and horses. The trade is you get back this thing that was taken from me. And we just plead ignorance to the importance yeah, of the Yeah, it would work artifact. if you think that that is something you could, uh, you know, because it, it's, it's uh, you know, the best lies have a, have a bit of truth in them. And I feel like that definitely falls into that category. And yeah, it's true of, that we're getting this back. Right, we uh, that is, there is truth and you have to deliver this to me. They just don't have to know what the exact property of the crown is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll try. Uh, if it drags on into the next day, mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to keep the group here. But I mean, they can always. The crown cannot it, be far. Them, we can she stay. got arrested, so I'm assuming she stashed it in the in the town somewhere. Mm -hmm. well, the sooner you get to question her, the sooner you'll be able to get the crown and carry on with your day. Okie dokie. All right. Well, we should get back out there so as not to look too. Oh, here I'm. Um... Oh. Carry this box. And inside the box, there'll be like a few healing potions. And... I was gonna say, I was gonna ask to stock up on those mm. anyway. So okay, like a, be, the yeah. two healing potions and a, a two vials of, po of like basic poison in a box. And nice. As you uh, exit out the kitchen, there you go. That um, that is the package I uh, I was told to prepare for you uh, upon your return. Thank you very much. No problem. Go sit with our friends. Okay. What's everyone doing at the table? My friends. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So, uh, what's the plan for the afternoon then? I'm assuming that Elasmer and Siren are going to go exploring together. I thought it was Eldalon that I wanted to explore. Oh, have a few drinks, I suppose. I just look at Kess and letting her take the lead on. Do we say we have a thing or do we give them an idea of and ask for their help. While we're here, mm. it would make sense to deal with payment for the cart. All right, here we go. I give a very I told you so grin to <laughs> everyone who's at the table Davian, right now. I, Davian, I wouldn't say you're an unattractive man, but smugness does not suit you. Kind of Calm down. A little bit. Everything comes with a price. I knew it was going to happen eventually, but I mean, I suppose I can't complain too much. The cart has sold like, us far too well. What is it All that we... we need oh. to know. All we need to do is get into. Uh, get into a prison. The the prison and oh. interrogate someone. Oh, that's it. We just have someone to break who's... into a prison and piss off the town guard. Well, I'm gonna have to piss them off. Well, was... Are we interrogating someone who's in prison? Yes. Someone who is a prisoner. Yes. Nod. Then why do we need to break in? Can't we just go in and ask the guards? Exactly. Just give Even the guards a couple. To... Give the guards a couple gold, and we'll go talk to whoever he's talking to. It's surprising. Look, if I can get out of prison easy enough, I imagine it's fairly easy to get into if needs be. Mm -hmm. I mean, every guard has his price, and I'll tell you, they don't get well, paid it's very much. None so. of my business. But didn't you say that some of you? Like, this mission you were on was for the, your leaders, right? So... Mm -hmm. It's true. And I just, yeah, say sign language, invoke Tranliel's name, might open the door on its own. I don't know how much... Oh, I don't know sign language either, nope. so... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's difficult. I forget sometimes as well, dude. I'm like, oh, fuck. What are you <laughs> saying to me, woman? <laughs> we can easily say we're here on behalf of... or as employed by Tranlil. Okay. Which and is not untrue. We back to Tranlil that we did this. Uh, I don't know how much power Tranlil's name think... has outside of Eldalon, but it's probably worth a try. If not, I mean, both Elazarin and myself are of some sort yeah. of... Nah, no, nah, that was think, in favor uh, Right. Here. I think we're all overthinking this quite a lot. We just go mm -hmm. in and ask, mm -hmm. and if that doesn't work, then... you know. Then we start pulling leave. out, oh, Tranlil sent us, oh, so five and gold? And then if that... And if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna, you know, disguise myself as a guard and sneak in. Then I'll I'll sign the. Oh, I was gonna say, I can also say that maybe we're interrogating them because we think they are linked to the assassination attempt, and we're trying to get more information. Yeah. And that's I'll why. repeat that. Yeah. 
Yeah, so why don't we just head over, get this shit done, and then, you know, we can have our evening to ourselves. If anything, um, we could say that Siren was an inside, an inside man, woman. Huh? You know? Well, you you, you being a Yuan-T, this, this whole assassination thing is, is tied to the Yuan-T of uh, Sekthar, so, you know, we could always just say, oh, That's well... That's true, I suppose. Yeah. All right. I mean, if we're just going to talk to someone who's in prison, I don't. It's not really such a big deal. No. Visitors are allowed, right? Mm -hmm. So what? As far as I know. What are we asking them about? They stole something from the mayor. Um, a crown. Is that why they're in prison? Yes. Mm -hmm. But they hid it before they were arrested, and we need to know where it is. <clears throat> And, and I guards. point to I point to Jolly when she says we need to know where it is, implying it's hers, and that's why she wants us to get it back for her. Okay, I mean this yep, in the hold up. nicest way possible, but do you not think maybe the town guard have already asked all these questions? Yes. So one and Jolly doesn't that she's look an awful us? lot like the mayor. Well, Jolly isn't the mayor. What makes you think that Jolly is the mayor? Didn't you say they stole something from the mayor? Yes. I signed to Kese who said the item belonged to the mayor in the first place. That was just the person who had it when it was stolen. Mm -hmm. You just said, mm -hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> no, <laughs> I <laughs> She's saying that it didn't belong to the mayor in the first place. It was Jolly's who's stolen from her. Okay. Okay. Well, oh, can I insight check that? What... Yeah. yeah, you can, absolutely. Regardless, what makes anyone think that she's Who's he inciting? Me or me or Kess? Yes. I mean <laughs> Kess. Yeah, understands. Yeah. True. Uh seventeen. Dutch twenty. Oh uh, I I I believe every word. I believe in the thing called love. <laughs> I believe, I believe. I believe Alright. So I just lean back in my chair and sip on my whatever drink. <clears throat> my favorite teller whatever drink uh, I bought you it's our sponsor here uh, given that I don't really know what, what Davian likes to drink I just got you like a, a, a weak pale ale a, a weak ale. pale ale it's something we drank at the drinking competition alright so while happens. at the guard house where our last friends <laughs> boo mm -hmm. hey, what's Eleven doing mm -hmm. there? Um, yeah, I'm just going to the guard house. Um, uh, afternoon. Just one. All right. Um, I don't suppose there's been any more information about the fires, have there? I heard there was another uh, one. Yeah, set. a few days ago. Um, well, about you know, almost a week ago, this entire like, makeshift village got torched. Yes. Um, we heard about then that. a couple of days ago, I think it was three or four maybe, um, another farm in the in the vicinity of the town got torched as well and um we've got a lot of guards coming in from from Eldalon to to start a proper investigation um why do you have any information you could share with us i i would like relay the information i i have already told them mm -hmm. um it's about who it is right here that 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 nutter um yeah i don't, I don't know how many more i just want to know but i heard there was another fire i wanted to make sure we'll see I, if there was um... any more leaves you're from Came well, out you 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 um you're the ones that brought in a few of those yes. arsonists, right, in Eldilon? Yeah. Yes, would you yeah. mind if you get a, I'm assuming you're planning on going back there soon. Uh would you mind yeah, yes. maybe relaying a message to General Cron? Of course. For me? Anything. Tell her that uh Southwald would appreciate um a proper investigation to be opened because uh, if this keeps up a few weeks from now we won't have any farms left the, the, yeah, inter the time between uh, fires gets shorter and shorter every time are they getting more getting close to the city as well to... which is worrying uh, what do i want to how do i want to say this being more like audacious about it they're getting a bit more you know mm. Closer and closer to the city, um, 
Normally it'd be at night uh, or early in the morning. This time, but sometimes the, the last one, yeah. midday. Yeah. That is very troubling. I'll let the general know straight away. I, I think very much. That was all. I'm sorry to. It was a bit of waste of time, but I wanted just to, to make sure there was nothing. It's all right. Um. Yeah. I mean, dangerous. it's just. I, I'd appreciate it if you. Uh, Spread that, or bring that message to, to General Cron, because, yes, um, I mean, who's to, who's to tell? Maybe, you know, once all the farms are at Southward are done, they'll, they'll move on to Eldilon, or up to New Darimuth, or... No, God knows where else. Where else. Knows, maybe even torch the whole jungle, if they're not Oh, careful. I mean, a little bit up uh, a lot of OMT and other things, but... Yes. I mean, guys in Nutter worshipping a red dragon of, of some sort, so yes. maybe he just... I, I, I don't know where he'll stop, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. Uh, yeah, I mean, thank you for, for aiding in the investigation. Um, or, no problem. Or, uh, the, you know, no, aiding in this whole ordeal. Of uh, course. That, that, that was all, and I'll start fucking heading back. I'm yeah, just saying that you, you were present for that oh. conversation. Like, you, you will have cool. been at the table by the time that they got out of the kitchen and all that shit. Oh, okay. Okay. It didn't take that yeah. long. I'll be like, oh, I've just come from the. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's convenient. I should, have, I should have waited a bit. I didn't realize that was going to be our destination. I'll, I'll relay the, the what I've heard about the uh, the fires as well. Okay. So, looks like a vote. Right. We might have a double in there, maybe. <clears throat> well, if you've already talked to him about something else, you've given us an advantage. What is it they say? A, a foot in the window? It's in the door, I believe. The door? Okay. Foot in the window. <laughs> What the window thinking? smells like morning. <laughs> How you know you're you made it in with someone's conversation? You already got a foot in the window. <laughs> oh, shall we get our should we get on our way? And well, if I knew we were going to interrogate someone, I would have prepared a different spell. But oh well. No, it doesn't matter. I already know how I'm going to go about it. Oh, hopefully I'm not torturing them. Have you done this? Before? No, naturally not. God. What interrogating someone? I don't know. I don't know, Kess. Yeah. It seems like that might be right up your alley, to be honest. What torturing yeah. someone? Mm. I could spit some venom. Not without consent. Yeah, we don't want just, to torture them. No, 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 I, I, no, I, I just, I just like whip out my claws and yeah. look all like menacing. I'm not encouraging <laughs> anybody. No, 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 I'm just on, saying no. that Kess seemed <laughs> like it would be unnatural of her to torture someone. That's all. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm not sure whether that's a compliment. A bit both, I think. I mean, you seem fairly content tormenting your fellows, so... That's very fair, actually. Yeah, Same but it's a... funny. Same as a sadist in her. It is funny. It is funny. I'm not causing him pain. I Just, don't you know, know about that one. Jumping. <laughs> <laughs> takes that, take years to recover from that type of pain. <sighs> right. My so, gonna what, what, what's repeat. your plan, Kess, when we get in there? Well, the first we need to get... Captain is to allow us entrance so we can interrogate. Right. Then, well, um, intimidation is very compelling. Is it? I mean, we're already in prison. Mm hmm. It's How often? Much worse than prison. <laughs> I just assigned a cast to Telbox. There are many things worse than prison. <laughs> I'll repeat what Dagon says. Okay, but... I hear there's a whole, like, nine circles of hell. Mm -hmm. They all are probably worse than prison. In the nicest way possible. <clears throat> I don't think that... Oh. You... Uh, many of you are going to be super intimidating to the point of making someone who's already in prison give up their secrets. We have three heads in a bag. That's true, but also Kess doing the whole, like... <sighs> Shit, it gets pretty pretty frightening from time to time. I mean, Thank I, you. I also have a potential distraction, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Would you like okay. to see it? Yes. It can be very persuasive oh, anyway. Go on. Now, out of my bag, oh. I will pull a think. Um, what's his name? Cog, Cog. The guy, the fucking thing from Fallout. Cog something. Cogsworth. 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 That's yeah. A Cogsworth esque. Little Is thing. It it's a tiny creep. Cogsworth. Tiny. Cogsworth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. also a little like Modron with like a circular on top and like three legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, think that, but with like wings on it as well. Cogsworth. 
Odd. That's what I said. I thought we all said cog. Okay, fucker. I was questioning myself. I was hearing cog. I was hearing cog. I said cog. So, what does it do? The crown. Or the thing. Oh, okay. I will press the emerald that's in the middle of it that I bought, and it will turn on and start flapping its wings, and like slowly hover in the air. Uh, this is Jeeps. I look right. fascinated, and I almost reach out to do the thing, like, you know, where cats pop, but then I stop myself, because I'm like, what? Jeeps? Okay. <clears throat> Hear me out. Maybe, instead of intimidation, we should try, at least at first, pretending to be friendly. Well, Maybe obviously. Try. You don't immediately jump into intimidation without exhausting other options first. Yes, but you're also not the friendliest well, the, we, person, Kes. We said, we said, what are you I can be very charming. What are we you said, what about? do we do can when we get you? in there? And your yes. immediate response was, we intimidate her. Yes. I don't think so, you've ever been charming. But there's a natural... She's a good mean? dancer. Brooks, I am a very good dancer. charm occasionally. What do you mean occasionally? You less so. I just, look, my suggestion with this is that we pretend that we're... Look, some random lass doesn't decide to steal some fucking crown. She's probably been hired by someone. We pretend that we've been hired by the same people. We're there to help. We need to know where the crown is. And once that's resolved, we'll come and we'll... We'll get her out. We'll pay her bail. We'll put a, a fake and hand it in and get her cleared of all charges or some shit. Who fucking knows? We'll, you know, we, we pretend that we're on the same team. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, assuming that she's with people and it wasn't just her. Lone decision. What we need to do is to make sure that none of the guards who work at the prison are around while we interrogate. That's going to be a problem. I assume that'll be a job for a Lazarin. Yes. Excuse me? You're the one that has the in with him, so you can, you know, chat to him and keep him distracted. Ask him questions about something else important. I um, guarantee that it will take no more than five gold pieces to just say, listen, we need some time alone with this guy in this cell. I guarantee. I agree with Davian. Davian's probably right, but I say I'm not exactly try... sure how prisons work. I s- if you think it'll work, though, I say we don't. They're run by people who are way, underpaid, but... and they keep people who no one gives a shit about. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> you get me putting it really. <laughs> I just signed a kiss. We should maybe continue the conversation while walking, as we'd like to wrap this up, so we can still head to Eldalon tomorrow. Yeah. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Right. Um. Anyone best for time? Laura. A little bit. Yeah. Same. If I would say if this is gonna take more than like ten to fifteen minutes, we do it next week. But uh, I think we can we can squeeze this in. We will be all right. No okay. end it. When you okay. Yeah, That's all right. With end it post interrogation yes. and then start next week with the fetch quest. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you make your way up to the barracks. Um, right, so who's taking Who's taking point? Who's taking this? point here? Mm-hmm. Well, to get access, I would assume the last one. A Lazarin, yeah. Uh, you already Dagen, used focus on Dagen can be our talker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go sort of shoulder to shoulder with the Lazarin. I'll say, we can just tell him it pertains to the fucking arson. That's what I'm saying. Must I ask them about bouncing any leads? I could say I've liaisoned with you guys and we've uh, come up with a little bit of a lead. Yeah. They know your face better than mine, but you arrive at uh, the decent, in. Jesus. decent chance. Arrive at the barracks. Uh, you enter and you see uh, just like a random uh, guard, thick black like mustache, uh, greasy uh, black hair, um, kind of like sitting standing behind a desk overlooking uh, some paperwork. Looks at you. Afternoon. Oh, hello there. Good day. Uh-huh. Um. My fellows and I, we're chasing up an investigation um, on the recent arson, arsons that have happened. Right, right, right. Um, we, have, we have reason to believe that someone who's detained here uh, is in connection of... Um, so, well, you're going to have to bring this to the captain. I don't, I don't, I don't decide. No, that's that's uh, why if you could just let them know that we're here to talk well, about... I'll, that, I'll, I'll go fetch them for you. It's all good. Oh, thank you very much. And he... Uh, like kind of walks up to an office, kind of gives the door a knock, door and opens the door, and you can hear him like, oh, telling the fetch people for him. Um, captain of the guard then uh, walks out uh, towards you, 
uh, tan skin tone, medium black hair, wearing white and blue plates. But instead of uh, the usual kite shield and sword, there's two scimitars just kind of hanging from his from his waist. Uh, looks at you. Uh, so it seems that my uh, my guards are saying you have uh, questions for a prisoner. Oh, yes, um, connected with the recent arsons. What are your names before I continue? Uh, I'm Elazarin. Davian. Um, Davian. Kess. Nice to meet you. You are the people that um, have, have done some investigating in the in the arson already, right? Yes, yes. General Cron is... Right, uh, right. Oh. Um, all right, nice to meet you. Uh, Captain Riz. Pleasure. At your service. Um, which prisoner are we talking about? Tricks. Oh, it's, uh, Tricks. Uh, the um, oh, the dragonborn. Yes. Yep. She's been in that cell for about two weeks. So I don't know how uh, much well, she would know of this. Well, she's to the group. Uh, right. Okay. Make a deception check. The um, the nature of the group that are associated with the arsons are somehow infatuated with dragons and are trying to invoke the spirit oh, of the dragons through you know, kind of get advantage. through arson, <laughs> well, yeah, sure. burning burning the, uh, burning the ground everything that's, um that's fascinating it um, only makes sense that this group that reveres dragons are somehow associated with this individual who mm -hmm. already clearly has some sort of Draconic. criminal past you know, we caught her uh slipping out of uh the the mayor's house would that have anything to do with uh what would that have to do with? I don't suppose. Did she have anything on her that might fire starters, tinderbox, anything? Um, Maybe well, find the information. A box, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure if I go through your belongings, there's a tinderbox and at least two of your uh, associates. Oh yeah, of course. I, but... I I tap Davian and mime like like go like this and mime like fire breathing, dragonborn, and then I've heard I they mean... do that. Oh, but I mean, she may have been getting. Maybe getting plans or something. We don't know what they're doing. Maybe, Maybe we know. We know that they've been scaling up their operation. I rolled a twelve. <laughs> With advantage. Yeah, I rolled a six and a ten, dude. Yikes. Can, you, can you guide yourself? <laughs> Not without making it obvious. Because it goes. I'll be like this. I'll be mm. doing yeah. a square around you for breath. All right. Well, hand on, uh, hand on my heart. We need I, to talk. Um, to you. I'll give you five minutes down there. Uh, see if you'll learn anything, and What's if you do, let me know, please. Thank you All very right. much. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. We'll grow crime into a cell. What color dragonborn is it? Gold. Gold. They the gold breathe fire? They do. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Gold okay, good. Fire. We're safe. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go in the cell. All right. So you you what well, you kind of like like uh, Captain Riz opens the door for you and so uh, down these steps. Uh, I think she's the only prisoner we have at, at the moment. So um, just um. Just uh, give, us, give me a knock on this door when you're done. You'll have some privacy Thank down you. there. When he closes the door, I'm just going to stand at the top of the steps in front of the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go down first. I will follow. Follow Kess yeah. and Dagen. As you uh, get down the stairs, you're in this like this prison area. There's about nine cells, um, all of which are empty except for one. And in that one, you see a gold dragonborn, uh, shiny golden scales, um... Wearing like these these cloth this like cloth shirt and cloth pants, just like their their standard prisoner attire, uh, as all of her belongings will have been stripped from her. And uh... well, it's about time I got some company down here. We've heard it's been a long time. Ah, uh, the days have kind of become a bit of a blur. But um, what brings you down here? You here to. Uh... You're here to, are you, I'm assuming you're not a prisoner, so uh, what, uh, why would no. the guards let in a bunch of people like you, not wearing their plate, not looking like a bunch of criminals yourselves, to be honest? We're here for the crown. Hmm. Sure you are. And why would I even know what you're talking about? And even if I did, why would I share anything with you? Why wouldn't you? What else? Who I else asked, are you going to talk to? I asked first. I want to take one of the really, really nice apples out of my bag because I palmed another one after it was a really good and just like kind of like roll it across the table that 
if there's a table over top, or are we just standing? Oh, you like standing not, outside of a prison cell so you can like, look just, through the bars. I reach out and hand it to her and sign to Kess. Like she's probably hungry. She like takes a big bite. And it's the best apple you've ever had. It's a pretty good apple. They caught nothing on you that associated you to the crowd. Mm -hmm. What? Right. How else would we know about it? What's in it for me? We can get you out. I, I, I kind of like not so they can see, but like, like kind of like behind the back, just like tap, Kess, and do a very subtle like, like. Mm -mm. You can get me out, you say. Mm-hmm. Roll a deception check. <laughs> 24. Oh, she believes that she can get her out. <laughs> All right. You've got my attention. What is it that you were that you want to know? We want to know where you put it. Didn't steal it for myself. Naturally. I uh, am under the employ of a man named Fidrag. Uh, Gith Yankee uh, warrior. He, uh, How do you spell that? Fidrag? F I D R A G. F I D R G. Okay, thank you. I handed my crown or the crown off to, uh, to my handler here in Southwold, uh, Red Dragonborn, named Russ. He lives in a house on the west side of town. The one house with red roof tiles. Okay. You'll find it there. And because you rolled really well on like convincing her, she's going to be very open with you. Um, Russ is a powerful warrior, if you intend on taking the crown from him. Uh, keep that in mind. There's a hidden entrance to a um, secret part of his basement that you can access from the uh, backyard of his house. And uh, around 5 p.m., he'll, he, like clockwork, goes to take care of his horses at the stable. He'll be gone for about an hour. He does this every day. Oh. So, that is your do information. You have... How do you intend on getting me out? Well, when you go to see this fella, do you have any sort of passcode that you use to let him know that it's you? No. That's really fucking piss poor management, but okay. Well, he knows. We've been we've been doing this with him for for years. We we know exactly when it, when it's you know. It's not exactly hard to look like someone else. Yes, but if we have any doubt, we uh, have a lot of questions that only each other knows about. And I, before Kess answers is how do you get her out, I sign to her, hoping that Trix doesn't know. Thieves can't. Um, just tell her that we'll arrange a guard to conveniently drop a key when he delivers her next meal or something and just lie. Are you signing this, like... I, 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 I do the, like, kind of angle away. Like, I do the angle and sign to Kess. Uh, so if maybe... If make she a slide really of hand check. Turns her, yeah. Cool. Okay. Oh no. I rolled a single digit, so that's a three. Or that's an this eight. This woman sorry. that stole something from the mayor, I wonder if she knows Thieves Can. Yeah, mm. I know. Every right? thief knows full hands on it. They usually know basic. She Everyone like looks at the both of you, puts the apple down, and. Hold. Hold. But she has to decide how she's going to try and kill us. Mm. I would like every one of you that is like collected collected at the cell to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I win these. Sorry, I'm just finishing just writing notes. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, sixteen. Fifteen. One every session, dude. There's always a dexterity check every <laughs> session. <Yeah. laughs> every time. Jacks. Anyone roll under 15? 
I roll. This is negative one under 15? Yes, it is. So no, the no, only it's one like, it's like is uh, underflow. Is the only one under 15 Jax? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fuck you guys. all dive away, and Jax, you take the full brunt of it as she just starts just this, this cone of fire comes out of her mouth. Uh, just. Hit me with it. Uh, it's not too bad. I think it's. What, I'm confused now because I thought they were planning, like signing to get her out. No, they were no. signing. Let's no, just lie. The problem oh, is that the end. Is oh, the, the lie was started the with last let's lie. Sentence. The last yeah. sentence. The last was sentence the dying instead was lie. Uh, you take her. six points of yeah. uh, fire damage, Jax. Because right. I just do not want to so so The rest of us take damage. three, or do the rest we just of us take half? Take? Uh, yes, the rest of you take half. Yeah, the three. So, wait, so I would take one then. I guess I would hear the rockets come down. Okay, three. Thank you. So I take second. one. The second that happens, I'm casting sleep. Okay. You sleep. Yep. Start rolling, right? That's how that yeah. works. If the guards ask, she attacked us. We have the we have the singed jacks to prove it. Everyone else is just minorly oh, perturbed. This, this very much helps your she's an arsonist narrative now. Because <laughs> we can just be like, look at Jax's clothes. Look what happened. Uh, I mean, I assume she's got more than 20 health. <laughs> Check. I can make her have less than 20 health if you want. I'm gonna make it <laughs> really piss poorly on my We're not though. killing a fucking. Uh, Andrej, oh no, no, we're yeah, just gonna beat her and just then to make her bloodied a little bit. I rolled no. really piss poor. Uh, my yes, we're not gonna kill a prisoner. No, we're just gonna beat her. Like... <laughs> There's a difference. There's uh, a more. She has more between. than 20 HP. Yes, yeah, yeah, nothing happens. And she'll like in intraconic starts cussing at you and then I'm just gonna back Everybody, out now and be like, yeah, well, I never mind. Like, I'm Everyone I'm leave. gonna I'm gonna back out. Yeah, just like and I'm just... gonna go to the door and be like and like not a Davia, like fucking Oh okay, I'll solitude. head back up the stairs and, and not <laughs> is, is is everyone leaving? Yeah. 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 All of you Except are Except for Jax. Jax is staying. I'll stay with Jax. Go. Oh <laughs> no, hang on. When he says it like that, I'm like, I... You don't hear that part because I say that just to Brooks. Because you're already like that. You already left. I mean, it's a small Jax. room, but sure. No, but like, yeah. you, if you leave, I'm you go down the staircase and all that. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Leave the block. Okay, Jax, yeah. I have, I have okay. one question. Are you about to be helpful to this individual? She wants to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's not, not comforting. All. Just go. Just do what you're going to do. I'll wait. <laughs> Just staring at him. She might attack you again. <sighs> oh, she does. She got a different treatment. That's fun. She just like sits there and like, what? You lied to me and now and now what? Your friends leave? What's the, what's I mean, the meaning of this, son? Huh? Neither neither of us Go. lied to you. Neither of us said anything. No one said anything. So why are you still here? Don't you have what you came for? I... I'll step out of the room, but I'll stay a little bit closer. It's fine. Do you want old man? I'm going to rifle through my inventory. You have to add insult to injury? Bag, and I'm going to pull out thieves tools. I'm doing this to honor the deal. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait a day oh, until we're no. gone. If I can pick this lock, great. If I can't, I'm leaving. How about you give me the thief souls and I'll pick the lock myself? Fair enough. And I'll hand out the thief souls. Okay. God damn She'll, it. She'll like put the thief souls in her pillow. Okay. And I'll walk back up. Glad to see one of you at least has some sense of honor. So we can't, those of us that left the cell, because we haven't left like the block because they said they have to open a door, but mm -hmm. we're so far, too far away that we went, only Brooks could have seen that. I mean, we're, we're, we're out by this point, right? Like. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. And Brooks walked out of the room, so... Yeah, I'm gonna sure. walk up and join everyone else, because I need to run upstairs. Mm -hmm. Downstairs. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Go join everybody else. <sighs> so, uh, uh, Captain Riz opens the door, and you all, like, are upstairs. Looks at Jax entering the room last, like, covered in, like, singes. I'm assuming that didn't go very well. We got what we needed, but it was not pleasant. All right. Anything of use for uh, for the investigation? No, unfortunately not. It seems that um, they didn't like our questioning, but they didn't know anything. I think they that thought we were trying to implicate them, and they were not too happy about that implication. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll keep our... Uh... Would you like to press charges for uh, assault, I guess? 
Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> they're, they're already in cast right? so I don't think they need any. Or nothing more. Yeah, she's supposed to be on, so she's going on trial uh, in a few days, so. We'll see what happens to her. Well, um, I'm sorry that uh, it couldn't help your investigation, but. I'm sure we've got a few other leads to follow up. Our main, our main goal here is to just get to the bottom of well, who's setting fucking fire to everything. Mm -hmm. yes, I would Which, like ironically, to... no, very much is, uh, might not be her. I mean, Dragonborn, uh, their fire is very limited, right? Uh, it's not like... Uh, they're not actual dragons, right, in that, in that regard, where... I don't know. It's a much uh, smaller space, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah. All right, well, uh, it's nice meeting you. Uh, thank you again for uh, the help in the investigation. Hopefully soon we'll uh, we'll catch the culprits or find out. I mean, we know who it is. We just need to find out where the fuck they... Yeah, hopefully next bed. time we cross paths, it will be with uh, mm. good news and results. Yes, hopefully. All right, have a good yeah. day. You too. And kind of like nod you all. Uh... <clears throat> Give him a little, At the door. little nod. Got Take you. our leave. Onu, who's waiting outside, because, I mean, what else am I going to yeah. do with him? And we'll say uh, that uh, you all leave the barracks, knowing where to start searching for the crown. Yeah. We'll pick it up here next week. Yeah. All right. Very cool. And the New York Yankees are in the postseason, wow. baby! Cool. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just no, literally I walked it off right there. Walked it off right there. Thanks for playing, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Um... Intrigue, mystery, backstory stuff, hog. So many secrets. Um, Dungeon Discourse, Balan Duke, this Thursday. Yeah. Like, uh, yes. and then after after Discourse, we have uh, the like, level select thing as well. It's the, exactly after yeah. Discourse, that, that plans out yeah. perfectly. All right, cool. We'll be here uh, tomorrow right, for some I'm Baldur's sure. Gate 3 slash Divinity. Thanks for hanging with us. Appreciate y'all. And uh, we'll be here again tomorrow, and if not, we'll be here Thursday and next Thanks Sunday. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for hanging. Check out the Reddit, check out the YouTube, follow us on Twitter, all that good Whoa. shit. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Is there anyone Laura, we we fucking... Yeah. Uh, record the intro. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right. 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 Right